Hello, Internet friends, and welcome to Quests and Chaos Plays Call of Cthulhu. We're going to be starting an epic journey tonight. Uh, this is going to be a little preamble where the players meet each other for the first time. Uh, some of them meeting for the first time. I'm playing at an awesome table. We're so excited to be bringing you Call of Cthulhu uh, here at Quests and Chaos. Few quick chores to get out of the way. If you like what you see, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. We've got our YouTube channel. We're on Twitch. We probably have a Pinterest board somewhere. <laughs> Maybe Google Plus for like the last minute that it's around. I don't know. Look, look on all your various social medias. Uh, we want to thank. Uh, first of all, we want to say congratulations to one of our players, Sai, who is not here today because Sai got a gig. Yeah. So Yay! Go, go Sai! Sai is getting that Get check, books. and we support that 100% <laughs> yes. here. Yes. Uh, so Thomas has agreed to do pull double duty today, and he is not only watching the stream. So you know, feel free to swear in there. He, he's not moderating. <laughs> he's going to be actually playing. Uh, but he is he's watching the stream, and he's keeping track of you unruly lot. And he's also joining us uh, uh, as a semi-recurring character, just in case. So until uh, I kill him, until the man is trying to not forecast. Jackson Elias, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. So, oh, no, no. You are uh, doomed, sir. <laughs> so in case you didn't see the one shot we ran earlier, Call of Cthulhu is a game of unknowable horrors uh, that will slowly sap your will and your, and your knowledge of the universe. Uh, the more you know about these unholy things, the less you trust anything. Uh, and this will be... This is going to be a long slog. There's uh, there, there's going to be a lot of game in here, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited to be playing with these players. Uh, I already uh, introduced Thomas. We've got Amy, who's stepping yep. out from the keyboard, from the Twitch mm -hmm. keyboard to play again, which Yay! makes me yeah. super excited. Yep. You know, there just wasn't enough em characters named <laughs> Emma on these tables. So no, there weren't. Amy Emma, is here. Emma's itching to come out again. <laughs> the best part is, when Emma dies, there's a new Emma. There's, I have at least I have a folder full infinite. of Emmas. You've, yeah. got an, <laughs> you've got a bunch of names. And Tiana is joining us, yep. and you yep. know her from that one. And I'm not I'm not on that one. Oh, sorry, you know I'm her from the Chaos, Chaos, Chaos Agents. Agents. Uh, uh, I, they just always talk about her on that one. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm memorable. And this is super good. exciting. A new player okay. in the Quests and Chaos family. Rebecca is joining us. Welcome to the madness. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> and everybody, Glad to be here. Man, the t-shirt game over here. I, I'm in business yeah, casual. I didn't get a memo. I what the heck? changing. <laughs> Well, it was either this or wear the jacket with a white uh, blouse. I was going to kind of dress like my character. Oh, go picture. for the professor thing. I was thinking thing. about that. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm, 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 I actually have a green brooch, too. So nice. I'm, there you go. I'm, you know. I'm, I'm, well, I'm planning to dress a little more upscale from mm. now on, but this shirt is just so no, perfect that I can <laughs> not wear it. I can't wait like to see your <laughs> opera singer <laughs> outfit. Yeah. That would be awesome. Oh, By, like, gloves. week seven, Tiana will look like Liza Minnelli. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'll have a train of people behind Liza Minnelli was a singer her. years ago. She was on Arrested Development. Look it up. Uh, all right, so <laughs> already well, off the rails. Kids in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. So we're going to start with the last bit of character creation, and that is everybody here has their characters already made. We have uh, a professor of anthropology, archaeology, archaeology. Archaeology. We have an opera singer. We have. Private detective. A private detective. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're and the we private have a writer. Yes. 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 yes, I'm Dick Dick. A writer. Yes, Triple Dick is back. Yes. <laughs> and it's in this chair as well. Oh, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Uh, no, no, Triple Dick is not back, thank you. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm made to understand that these guys are going to be a lot more cooperative than uh, the Chaos Agents who lived up to their name. Let's be clear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're good at that. Don't name us something if you don't want us to be that. <laughs> uh, you can help these poor... These poor uh, agents here, you can help them with inspiration. If you donate 500 bits, is it? I yes. feel like I'm on a telethon now. 500 <laughs> bits gets you inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. You, you get to re-roll a full, like, D Yeah, you D get to re-roll your whole percentile roll with inspiration. <laughs> I just Fantastic, won. Although, you just won. Yeah, I did. Actually, I lost. 87. 87. 87. 87. 87. It's not good. Uh, yeah, 29. here's, uh, for those of you, so Call of Cthulhu's totally percentile base. So everybody has skills that are ranked from, and stats that are ranked from 1 to 100. So I'll say, make a spot hidden roll. And everyone will roll percentiles. And if they rolled lower than their skills, that was successful. If they okay. rolled higher than their skill, it was not successful. So the last bit of character creation is going to be, I'm going to give everybody one random element to their character that they need to work in and that I will work in. Mm. So let's start over here. Uh, Dr. Aldridge 
Would you like to pick an ideology belief, a significant person, a meaningful location, or a treasured possession? A meaningful location. All right, roll me 1d10. One. One. Now I have to read. Oh, all right. So you draw some strength from your from your school, from your seat of learning. Mm -hmm. So uh, what university? Mm -hmm. You teach at a university. Princeton University. Princeton. So you teach at Princeton. So Princeton is a source of stability for you. Mm. When you're when you're in your darkest hours, mm. like something at Princeton or something about your drive and your commitment to your job keeps you going. Fantastic. Okay, Tiana, would you like before a before we get oh, to Tiana? Pardon me. There's we one. have bits happening. Whoa! Whoa that was ready. So. Uh, Warren was not the first. Oh. He likes to be the first and in charge, not the first. Uh -huh. uh, because M-D-D-D-O-S. M-D-D-DOS? M-D... Is that like a mad dental DOS? denial mad of yes. service? Yes, could be. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a medical yeah. doctor of denial of service. There you go. Uh, uh, well, gave us a you. thousand bits. A thousand oh, bits. That's wow. two. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. And then Warren gave us 500 because, yes, you know, he Warren. had Because you know, he spent it all last time. Yeah. That's a... <laughs> If he gives Good us 500 more, yeah, we'll bring right. the dice tower out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Not a dice we tower game. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so again, you you can use that inspiration to make a reroll um, to keep a Quests and Chaos classic going. It's going to work like the inspiration you see okay. on that one of the other ones. Okay. Somebody else will give it to you. And you can call it after, not like in that's right. the regular D&D right. way. That's right. You can call it after. Like I need it inspiration now before you right. even bother. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so do you want to go... Treasured Possession. All right, roll me a d10. Do it. A uh, four. A four. You have a memento of a departed person. Could be a locket, could be a letter, could be a photo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about that. And this is something, this is, this is something that, again, when, when you're at your darkest, when things are at their darkest, this, whatever this is, reaffirms your faith in humanity. It brings you back. It grounds you. Okay. Amy, you want to go possession, location, oh, uh, person, go, or ideology? I'm going to go crazy. Let's do ideology. Ideology, Ooh, I like I was it. Like, this is you get fascism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it fits. It totally fits. <laughs> what does three get me? Three. Fascism. Interesting. Science has all the answers. <gasps> So Ooh, that's some be tough. that's Sounds fascinating be for your character. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. So you believe, you know, you believe that everything can be explained through science. That actually makes a lot that, of sense. It does. Make, I can yeah. be a disbeliever. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that also explains your occult skill mm. or lack yeah. thereof. The zero. <laughs> uh, Thomas, what are you feeling? Well, I think I have my possession already. <laughs> oh, that's true. It is a forty-five revolver. <laughs> Or do you need a Thomas is back. <laughs> Gabriel's need, back. Uh, do you need a stick of dynamite with that or yeah. no? no. Uh, all right. So yes, um, terrifying as it may be, your forty-five revolver gives you a sense of peace and calm. Nope, nobody. Thomas knows. will be like sledgehammer to this. And not to be uh, outdone by anyone. The Baroness has hey, also donated thank you. 500 Hi, bits. Thank you. The Baroness, yeah. my yes. favorite uh, G.I. Joe villain. Yes. <laughs> she was the hero in my story. She was. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that just got dark. Yep. Actually, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody who has donated, especially you, Dental Denial of Service, <laughs> which should really be your name if it's not. You, you know, that needs to. <laughs> That's Dr. To use Doctor. Her. That's Doctor. Dr. 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 Denial Get of right, Service yeah. sounds like a really bad supervillain. <laughs> Um, so it is 1920, it is June 1920, and you are all walking up the gangplank to the RMS, oh, what's the name of the boat? The RMS... Minnow? Yeah, it is not the Minnow, <laughs> thank goodness. It is the Arlanza. It is a Roy... So RMS is Royal Mail Service, uh, the Royal Mail Steam Packet Company. It is an ocean liner. It's... You know, it's not the fanciest ocean liner out there, but it's it's not bad. Uh, it saw service in the Great War as a uh, military ship and was recently decommissioned and has gone back to uh, carrying passengers. Uh, it, it's going to hold. It's going to be. It's not a full trip, so it's holding up. There's but there's a a lot of people. There's about a thousand people on this boat. Wow. Um, you are. Depending on your credit rating, if your credit rating, credit rating's one of the skills. If your credit rating's over 50, you're traveling first class. Nope. If it's not 50, then you're traveling second class, which isn't quite as nice. 
40. I'm drinking champagne. Oh, there, is, there we go. Yeah, you and your husband have a, a lovely yeah. suite, and uh, um, Doctor the Doctors Aldridge have a, a lovely balcony room. Um, Very nice. And so uh, you're walking up the gangplank, and uh, you are uh, you are all in London or in Europe, and you're traveling back to New York, which is your base. Um, and so, why are you returning to New York? So I was actually visiting my family in Italy, and my grandmother was very sick. And then I just decided, instead of leading, leaving out of Genoa, I decided to sort of see Paris mm -hmm. and then take the channel across and come home this way. Take the continental route. Uh, yep, <laughs> as you do. Tiana, what were you doing in Europe? I have just finished a European opera tour. So mm -hmm. I, am, I have concluded my tour, and now I'm going to take America by storm. There we go. Okay. There we go. And uh, Dr. Aldridge, you guys were on vacation, I think? Absolutely, we were on vacation. Of course, we were returning back home to the America, but I was visiting home where I was born. In England? That's we lovely. go every year. Yeah. Something we do. Relax. Jack generate. <laughs> Why are you returning? I go where the story takes me. There you go. The story <laughs> takes me on second class to the Americas. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm in second class too. Yeah. Me too. It's I'm amazing like, yeah, that being a writer doesn't pay. Yeah. For, yeah, uh, so Jackson, you're you're a writer of um, you you write you, your your goal is you're you always want to debunk uh, occult stuff. So you're right. you're going you travel around the world writing books about um, what actually the underlying what people think is occult, but. But you have seen there's awful stuff out there, but you just don't believe it's a cult. You know, it's it could be like thuggies and that sort of thing, yeah. but it's not. Uh, it's not. There's nothing mystical about it. It's just awful people doing horrible things. And yeah. so you you really want to highlight that. You know, that, that, that sounds, sounds unprofitable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a growth industry. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. So the the Arlanza the uh, Arlanza is a lovely boat and uh, um, it is very English. So things happen on time and there's a lot of uh, 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 pomp and circumstance. So the very first night, by utter chance, you all sit at the same table. You are all seated at the same table for dinner. What? You are seated. It's a table for five, uh, six with your husband, um, who's very quiet. Uh, uh, um, this is normal, Emo. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of yes, dear. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a table for six, and you are seated with a um, an older gentleman who's wearing tails. He's all dressed up. Uh, he dressed for dinner. Um, he looks very uncomfortable. Like he doesn't wear this that often, and maybe this suit did, used to fit, but uh, doesn't quite anymore. Um, and he, when you, when as the ladies arrive, he stands up and he'll pull out your chair. And he introduces himself. Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello. Uh, I am Stefan Vecna. A pleasure. It is so nice to meet you. Yes. Mm. Uh, Vecna? Yes. That sounds dangerous. No, no, no. Mm. What on earth would be dangerous about Vecna? Oh, just stories I've read in the uh, past. Please, call me, call me Stefan. Stefan. Yes, call me Stefan. All right, Stefan. And what brings you, you aboard, Stefan? <laughs> Well, um, I, I'm, I'm an archaeologist, and I was, uh, uh, I was at uh, Pompeii, and I was studying. There are the mummified remains at Pompeii, and so um, I'm bringing several uh, mummified remains from uh, here, uh, uh, from here back to uh, uh, to America for a museum ex ex exhibit. Mm. Sounds fascinating. It, it's uh, it's very interesting. The the this is mummif this is inadvertent mummification as we call it and uh, uh, it led to some uh, very vibrant poses hmm. fascinating what site did you happen to find this remains well, well Pompeii is in Italy and a, a volcano mm -hmm. erupted there and uh, spewed ash and lava and so the the inhabitants of Pompeii were immediately mummified mm. uh, in in the ash, mm. and so uh, it's 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 not you know when you look at your Egyptian and he drones on now for like <laughs> through the whole soup course. Mm. This is a uh, this is a five course Hang meal, um, and it's uh, even. Uh, um, Why must you torment me? <laughs> everybody eats in the same dining room, so uh, uh, even the second class people get the the, the fine dining. Hey, uh, it's there's just a cacophony of slurping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because yes. I don't want to listen to this guy talk right. about like fair. Yeah, yeah he drones on yeah. about mummies and uh, the difference between 
mummies that were created in Egypt and his inadvertent mummies mm -hmm. from Pompeii at great length. Mm -hmm. And were um, these mummies given last rites? <laughs> well, uh, uh, it, it, they were they were Roman, so uh, no, no, it happened quite suddenly. Okay. This is ancient Rome. Are they gonna? Are at least they gonna have like a proper burial when when you're done with the ex exhibition? Well, well, they've already unsavory. They were buried. Uh, we. I mean, in a consecrated and consecrated. Oh, ground. I see. Well, this the, the these remains are from far before Christendom. But they're well, not far before. Okay. <laughs> but before Christendom. But before yeah. Christendom. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, he'll he'll yeah, on and then he goes, goes. Yeah. On, 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 on. <laughs> and then he starts to tell you about you know the emergence of early Christianity mm -hmm. in Roman times, and oh, you know. and then Brian, and yeah, <laughs> we've all heard the story. A plus reference. Yeah. Um, so you, uh, everybody, make me a spot hidden roll. So now they're going to roll percentile dice, and if you make the roll, just give me a thumbs up. If you made it by a lot, let me know. <laughs> two thumbs. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, two thumbs. All right, so those of you that made it by a lot, a table, you know, a little ways away, there's a woman at the table, and two ship's crew are, uh, um, are having an un uncomfortable conversation with her. It seems uh, uh, they're... they're, they're, they're they're asking her to leave. Mm -hmm. mm. To who else saw that? You two saw that. Okay. I, I, I made mine. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm the sure. only one who didn't see yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. You're too busy well, hearing about the role yeah. of the people's I'm, I'm, Judean I'm, I'm front. Pre I'm pretending. <laughs> oh. The people's front of Judea. Exactly. I'm, I'm pretending to be interested. <laughs> yeah. Well, and he, can I assume that we're kind of at the table like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Octavia, what's, what, what do you think is going on over there? No, it doesn't look good. I think we should go and check it out. I mean, what is... I mean, shit. I don't know. I'm just going to watch for a minute. All right, so uh, as you watch, yeah. the woman lets out a very loud, well, I never, and, like, turns around and storms out with mm -hmm. the two guys. I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, I, do, do I notice I this? Look, yeah, I yeah, when she says, well, I never. I'm going to follow her. Okay. I mean, it could just be maybe she, I don't know, skipped out on her it's, check. My nurturing instinct. I take All right, care of so you. Octavia stands up her. and excuses herself. Excuse and me. She follows on. So the two outside of the dining hall, the two crewmen are uh, telling the woman that uh, her room has been robbed. Oh. So you you sort of come up on the conversation, and one of the one of the pursers is being very apologetic and is saying that um, you know the, um, the lock on her door was broken. Mm -hmm. It was a very it was a very it was not a it was not a subtle job. You know somebody deliberate. It was deliberate. It happened mm -hmm. after the boat took off, mm -hmm. um, and she is just like, how could there be a who would let a thief on this boat? What sort of ship? I wah. Hmm. And the two guys are just trying to be like, we're very sorry. We're hmm. we're gonna, you know, there's there's only so many places it could be. We will begin a a thorough but subtle search, and we just ask that you uh, uh, not overreact more. <laughs> <laughs> Have some champagne. All right. So you you walk up and you hand her a glass <laughs> of champagne, and she says, uh, "You thank you." Mm -hmm. It look like you needed a drink. I, mean. I can't. I. Can't. Imagine someone breaking in and stealing my money. Oh, it's horrible. It's, uh, such things shouldn't occur on. You really a place can't like trust this. anyone. Right. I blame the English. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm Scottish. Ah. <laughs> she says out loud. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The, um, the woman will go back into the dining room at mm. that point and start telling her whole table quite loudly of course. about the the uncouth things that are going on on this boat. Um, the, the two guys noticed that you came out and they said, we would greatly appreciate it, ma'am, if you would not um, uh, let the word of this get out. <laughs> it's uh, um, because it's an ongoing investigation, you see. Discretion's a better part of valor, I understand. Indeed. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Indeed. So the second you come back, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she got robbed in a very uh, loud and gregarious sort of way. Like, um, 
So the, the robbers lock was were loud destroyed or was she loud? Both. <laughs> well, she, well, she's being, she, I gave her some being champagne and she loud seems to be more loud over there. So as you discuss this, mm-hmm. everybody at the table can make a spot hidden roll. Oh, yes. Hmm. Wow. So, uh, uh... Six. Hard. So, oh, nice. Okay. Go. So, you all <coughs> notice, uh, uh, by the way, a uh, little uh, uh, housekeeping for the mm-hmm. campaign game, when you make a skill check, put a oh, yeah, check part. in the box next to the skill, oh. because that's the character advancement of Call of Cthulhu. Oh. At the end of a t- of an arc, when I, basically when I decide, <laughs> uh, you get to, you're going to roll all the skills that you have checks on. Ooh. And if you fail the roll, then your skill goes up. Indeed. So it's sort of this, the better you are to skill, the harder it is to improve. Mm-hmm. Um, you only get one check. So for all the spot hidden rolls you're going to make, uh, and I promise we'll use other skills too. Maybe. Not really. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but spot hidden is a very important one. So you all <clears throat> notice that um, your waiter, when you're, when you're talking about the robbery, mm-hmm. uh, um, like, he sort of goes, <laughs> he reacts to uh, you talking about the robbery. Perhaps we should uh, keep it down. Mm, indeed, we should. Um, Although, oh, very, I I shouldn't what, quite, a, what, what a curious reaction. Yeah. Indeed. Well, so are you, you're my waiter, right? Yes. I um, did say discretion is the better part of it. Yeah. I wouldn't think that I'd be yelling it, though. Yeah, but he so heard gonna, it, but communicating should, quiet. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> when should. he comes to like put something sure, on the yeah. table, I'm just gonna kind of touch his arm or whatever and get his attention. All right, just, he, can I something, ma'am? Um, actually, if you could. Yes. Um, so, what do you know about that? Why, like, who is about. that? Oh, I I had heard she her uh, her oh, cabin was. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, I'm what sorry, she's you know, asking for is what, that lady that over there. Yeah. She she she's having some champagne. And um, we'd like some at the table, please. Oh, of course, of course. I'm right terribly sorry. Yes. And cheesecake. And, and um, um, champagne and cheesecake. And yes. if you can tell me where Mr. Aldridge, my husband, is, that would be nice, too. He <laughs> seems to have wandered I'll, off. Um, he stepped away a moment ago. I'll, you should I'll, be back. I'll look. Send I'll someone, send someone to find please, your husband. Yes, and it was <laughs> Dr. Aldridge, you said. That's correct. All right. Um, so he goes off and... Um, so uh, um, one one thing, because you all because you made uh, you made a hard success there. One thing you notice about the waiter when he leans down, he has a, a little tattoo uh-huh. on his arm. Of what? Um, it looks like a a knife of some sort, hmm. like an and it's an art arted knife. Would, so as soon as he kind of leaves, I lean over and go like. Would I recognize that symbol? Could I? Re- you could make me. Hmm. Is it- it's not an occult symbol. Okay. Um, you know that. It's okay. not. It's not any sort of occult symbol. Uh, you. I've you made, can I, make me a. What's What's the half? What's better than half? So oh, you see is... the tattoo, okay. no problem. Okay. No, I'm just trying to think about what would be what this would be under in terms of. Right. Make a psychology roll. Let's do um, that one. I don't know if that's really my great thing, but it's also <laughs> under P in the alphabet. <laughs> you can also like. Um, Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, so, made, um, made it with that can, I, can I do that? Well, she got the hard success. So, she's saying, oh, um, oh, oh, so, oh, so yeah, there's something, like, you notice the okay. tattoo, and something about it is, like, it, it's mm. vaguely so familiar to you. I'm going to follow him. As soon as he kind of heads a couple tables away. I'm, okay. He's actually going me. into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm, so <laughs> am I. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, Make I, me a I, luck roll. Oh, boy. We have so, inspiration. Roll up, should, roll uh, yeah. No, I'm going to just go into the kitchen. Why not? So luck is another stat the PCs have. And here's the weird thing about luck. Did you make uh, it? Probably not. Where's my luck? It's the big bar. Oh, no. you know what? I actually did make it, but just... Okay, well, like, as long barely. as you made it. Yeah. So luck, not only do you have inspiration, but you also have luck. And luck is a non-renewable resource, you can spend luck to alter rolls. Mm. So like if you just missed a roll that you really wanted to make by five, you could spend five luck, make that roll. Here's the problem. That luck isn't coming back, Mm -hmm. mostly probably. So (laughs) um, barring significant things happening. So as you spend luck, I'm still going to be asking for luck rolls. So the balance of when to spend luck, when not to, uh, unless you have a lot of inspiration, mm-hmm. and because of that luck mechanic, and because I'm a cruel, cruel person, all in, and because I don't want to keep track of it, all inspiration is going to be wiped every session. Uh, 
Oof. We need stuff. Yeah. So I'm spend going, it now. I'm going in the kitchen, the last, and I made it in the, the kitchen. The last 20 minutes of the of the game are going to be like, spend inspiration. <laughs> Quite wild. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so you, you yeah. head in the kitchen. You make your luck roll so you don't, like, crash into the... The doors are, like, spinning like yep. this, and mm -hmm. you don't know which door and to I go in. And I just follow one guy through. So and you, don't just break kinda... a, you don't break a stuff. The, your waiter is, like, going to get the champagne and mm -hmm. cheesecake <laughs> um, that your table ordered. Do you want to talk to him? Is that... Um, Actually, I don't want to talk to him. Does okay. he? Does he talk to anybody on his way to where he goes? Does he nod at anybody? Does he do anything? No, he, can... he seems like he seems. I mean, he seems like a waiter. He okay. seems like he's picking up your. He's trying to figure out what where he can get cheesecake when it's still the soup course. <laughs> <laughs> like you do. <laughs> Early dessert is not something they were prepared for. <laughs> um. I'm gonna ask one. Like, is there a waiter? Kind of, is there somebody kind of right sure, by me yeah, where I can yeah. be like? There's actually a gentleman up? who's asking you to leave. Okay. Um, actually, I, of course there is. Duh. Um, who's the? Who's our waiter? What's? Uh, oh, uh, Reginald. Yes. Um, has Reginald been on the ship long? I see. No, no, he you... hasn't. He uh, he's relatively new. Okay. I just I can't seem to place where he's from. Well, uh, uh, I believe he's from Yorkshire. Okay. Uh. Is is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. I just he seems awfully familiar. I just want oh, to I see. Uh, grab a, grab a moment with him. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, so this is this mm -hmm. is the the head waiter mm -hmm. who's uh, um, who's behind back behind there. Uh, Reginald, Reginald, he and mm -hmm. um, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and Reginald comes over with he's got the champagne. He's still looking for the cheesecake, mm -hmm. um, and he says, uh, yeah, "Yes, can I help you?" Oh, Reginald. Oh, did you need something else? Actually, I just came by to um, just thank you so much for, you know, the odd request. We'll take the cheese. Uh, we'll, we'll take the cheesecake. No, I'll take the cheesecake. Um, forget <laughs> the cheesecake. Uh, so no cheesecake. Yeah, I, I understand. It's kind of an odd request. All, all right. Okay. So just the champagne. <laughs> just the champagne. Yes, if you could. That's no and problem. And bring glasses for the entire table. Of course. Of course. And if you don't mind me being um, so personal, I just... Um, I just the artwork on your hand. I find it interesting. Is that something that? Uh, so when you when mm -hmm. you when you say artwork on mm -hmm. your hand, the the, ma the the head waiter gets very interested, mm -hmm. and Reginald like looks at him uncomfortably. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Um, He's like, uh, it, it, it's a tattoo. Mm -hmm. I got when I was in. When I just it's it's mm -hmm. it's it's a knife. Okay. Oh, interesting. I got it during the Great War. Interesting. And me and, where me were and my mates, we all got them. Mm -hmm. Where were you stationed? Uh, we were we were in Ar the Ardennes in France. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were infantry. Okay. And you're from? I'm from England. Okay. I'm from Yorkshire. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. And what you were infantry? What unit? He says he says a okay. unit name. Okay. <laughs> I'm just. He gives you a unit name and a number. Okay. All right. It, does he seem super uncomfortable? I have to roll for this. Um, he seems super uncomfortable okay. around the head waiter. Okay. Um, and so when you're, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 there's no roll for this. Yeah. Like you just glance up and you see this big poster mm -hmm. on the side of the kitchen, which I actually saw on a cruise when I went on a cruise that like talks about all the things you, that the the staff should mm -hmm. not have, mm -hmm. and like tattoos is number one. <laughs> Unwashed, uh, dirty fingernails. Well, that's number two. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, so yeah, he's very uncomfortable that you're mentioning okay. you're bringing up tattoos in okay. front of his boss. No, I just I think it's interesting work, and I'd like to get one myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, well, um, oh, uh, I'm sorry to keep you. I should. Show. I'm sorry, and I apologize to the good maitre d'. Uh, of course. Just start of course. backpedal my way out of that kitchen. <laughs> Make me another luck roll. Oh boy. So back nothing like roll yeah, roll nothing roll like pedaling out of. <laughs> 30, yeah, I okay. made it, it's like yeah. 39. All right, somehow yeah. you, no, once again, do not knock over any trays as you backpedal out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, yeah, you know, Reginald will With come. With my foot in my mouth as well. That's, <laughs> that's even hard. Uh, like, so like, yeah. yeah. exactly. You get back to the table, and, and shortly afterwards, mm -hmm. Reginald comes, and he puts down, mm -hmm. um, he puts down a, 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 a bottle of champagne and mm -hmm. six glasses, and uh, Dr. Vecna is very excited. Oh, champagne, wonderful. <laughs> very. Yes, delightful. So you see, then I traveled to Turkey, and in Cyprus there was some fascinating. May I propose a toast, my friend? <laughs> yes. I've actually been That's taking notes. Much <laughs> not, not a bad story. 
to new friends and and a safe voyage. Yes, yes, cheers, 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 cheers. 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 Yeah. Here's to plenty of life. Oh, we can also cheer that uh, Squirrel on the Run <gasps> donated. Uh, Five hundred bits. Hey, My yay, very yay. favorite Twitch user, Squirrel yes. on the Run, <laughs> has donated inspiration for all of you. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank this, you. She's excited because she can. She's playing. I'm running masks uh, for another group, and so you can still watch this, Rachel, because I'm making all this up. But in like two weeks, <laughs> you can't watch anymore. Yeah. Oh. No spoilers. Keep watching. It'll be okay. <laughs> just, just turn on Twitch, but don't watch. That's all. That's fine. I'll hold. Um, so uh, after dinner, mm-hmm. uh, you, you know, you've had a lovely evening of maybe a little too much champagne. Listening to maybe a little too much hours. cheesecake. Maybe a little too much Vecna. Yeah, like, no such thing. that's probably that. probably too much Vecna. <laughs> Way too um, much Vecna. And so, uh, uh, um, what do you want to do? I want to apologize to Reginald. All right. For just, you know, being me. <laughs> and maybe apologize to the head waiter as well. Or, I, heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw the look on his face all the way from over here. <laughs> Very observant. You know who I'm not sir. apologizing to? You and your cheesecake, sir. It's like I have four plates of cheesecake yeah. that I've all been eating. Jackson it's Elias' like, cholesterol yep. is... <laughs> mm-hmm. A great band name. That's a, uh, <laughs> so, um... Okay, uh, all of you make me a luck roll. Uh-oh. Here we go again. All right. Yes. Ooh. Did anybody miss the luck roll? I did by one. Jackson Elias? Make oh, it? oh, I made it, yeah. Okay, right. well, here Do we go. To, uh... Emma, would you like to inspiration that? I don't know. Is it going to take me to the kitchen again? No. Is your room going to get broken into? Probably. I'll second it. Oh. Okay. All right, let's do it again. All right. Inspiration has been spent. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh this is worse. That <laughs> oh, was that's even worse. pointless. Awesome. So, there it is. All right. That's so so, so that's you were taking... Um, you <laughs> not you yet. get a knife no. tattoo to the face. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up. Um, so you, uh, um, after all that meal, you take a walk on the um, uh, on outside on mm-hmm. the deck. And uh, you're walking by one of the lifeboats, and you distinctly hear a noise inside the lifeboat. So the lifeboat mm-hmm. is covered with a tarp. Yeah. It's just a big rowboat covered with a tarp. You distinctly hear like um, uh, a, a, some sort of noise inside the lifeboat. Like what? Like hmm. scro- Like is it? Am I? You think it, it something- sounded like shifting? Hmm. Okay. Could be an octopus. It could be. It could be an octopus. Could be a stowaway. Could be. I'm gonna peek in if I can. Am I tall enough to kind of peek? Sure. In yeah. And move in? Yeah. Okay. So, so you have to. The tarp is on quite securely mm-hmm. uh, for obvious reasons. So you basically have to peel the tarp back. So it's gonna be really hard. I'll let you make a dexterity roll if you want, or mm-hmm. a stealth roll to try and open it in a way that you know is. won't be obvious. But otherwise, you're gonna need to like peel the tarp back. Um, let me try Dex. I mean, okay. I just also want to peek. Like, I don't. Right. You know, I don't need to come up on a right. raccoon or something and yeah. get my face bitten off. And of course, a I don't raccoon. make it. All right. So, so you look <laughs> in, <laughs> but it's again, you have to peel the tarp off. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you peel the tarp off, raccoon. There is a little scream. Oh. And there is a human, not like. Yes, human. Okay. Just there checking. is a a. Um, there's a woman mm-hmm. inside this, uh, huddled up with like blankets and uh, um, like a, a little bag. There's a woman inside the lifeboat. Are you okay? Um, she looks Ma'am? at you and she says something in a language you, what languages do you speak? I don't know, some of them. I think Italian. Oh. Yeah, I speak Italian. And... She says something in a language you don't understand. Okay. Do I at least get some idea that it's... Maybe Eastern European? Okay, yeah. okay. I, I I don't understand. I kind of motioned to her to come out. Um, she, you don't need to make a psychology roll. She's okay. terrified. Okay. Okay. But All she's right. terrified of you. Oh, good. There, that's, okay. So, like, you're like, would you like to come out? And she's like, she's like trying, she's trying to go further back into the boat. Oh. Okay, so I'm like, okay, okay. So I just peel the thing back, you You're know? trying to put the tarp yeah, back to exactly. normal? exactly. Just let her... Okay. Chill out for a second, and then do I know anybody at this table who 
speaks any of those languages. Like, you, uh, strangely, what languages? Despite <laughs> Doctor Vecna's attempts to bring it up, what languages everyone speaks did not come up in dinner <laughs> well, as dinner conversation. I might. <laughs> yeah, like um, from, from I'm our past go, dealings. Do I, I know? Might. Yeah, yeah that's true. You, you two are? know each other. Yeah. So I, sure. Yeah, I'm you, gonna go knock on your door. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Answer the. So yeah. you're leaving. Yes. Okay. She obviously hates my gut, so yes, I'm out. She no, she was terrified. Mm -hmm. um, you clearly, I mean, Thomas is right. She's a stowaway, mm -hmm. and you clearly caught her. Okay, hmm. she's not. <laughs> it's not you personally okay. that is terrifying her. It is the situation and the possible mm -hmm. ramifications yeah. of said situation. Okay, so I knock on the professor's door. Um, professor, I think I found a stowaway. I, I don't know what she's saying. I don't know what the deal is. She's, you know, she's speaking some, you know, she's speaking some sort of like Cyrillic language. So I really don't know. I don't know if you or your husband know, um, or would be able to come down and communicate with her and find possibly. out if she's okay. Um, I'm a it's a little late, but um, I could. <laughs> it's nine thirty. Let me. I know. <laughs> let me. Let me grab a coffee on the way there. And so. <laughs> she walks out with a little espresso. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm just walking behind her like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about forty-five minutes yeah. before you get out there. Um, the 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 boat, the tarp is completely pulled back, mm -hmm. and um, inside are the blanket, and uh, that's it. Okay. The woman is gone. Okay, so I describe what the woman looks like to you. I'm assuming mm -hmm. she's what older, younger. She was younger. She was much. She was like okay. in her twenties, probably. Yep. And she had a bag of stuff, and she had her blankets, and she was mm -hmm. completely settled in, and she just freaked out when I peeled back the cover and well, I tried to make get me her, a listen roll. you know, to come out and she just had none of it. And I mean, oh yes, nopeity nope. Okay, um, you, you hear a very soft sobbing coming from uh, uh, the, one of the bathrooms that is right there. There's like a door to a, ba uh, a lady's room. Do you hear that? When she says it, you can very okay. softly hear sobbing. Yeah, something. Um, Both of you make me a luck roll. Oh, just oh 96. Just, I got 30. With a 96, um, as, you're, as you say, do you hear that? And you start to hear it, um, a ship's crew is walking by. Oh. Oh. Everything all right, ladies? Yes, fine, thank oh, you. Fine. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely out tonight. It's fantastic. This is Wow, somehow that doesn't can make him suspicious. <laughs> this espresso is fantastic. I really needed that after uh, all that champagne. Well, uh, glad to hear it. If we can do anything for you, please let us know, and he'll continue on his way. Cool. Thank you. Continue sipping a few more. <laughs> and I'm like, is he gone yet? He's gone. Look, yeah. okay. He's gone. All right. And I try to listen again. I start going in the direction that I think it was. Yeah, it's clearly a lady's room. Right. Um, follow me. And I head off to the okay. lady's room. All right. It is. It's. It's a public lady's room, so mm -hmm. it's not. Uh, uh, it's not locked. It can't be locked. But okay. um, when you open it, there's that little sitting area mm -hmm. in the in the front of the the restroom, and the the a, the woman you mm -hmm. recognize is sitting on that round couch, um, lightly crying. Mm. Hmm? Yep, that's her. <laughs> yep, she did it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's her. Can you find out if yes. she's okay? I pull she's out from my not. pocket some cake that I had <laughs> seen. A little, a little pocket, pocket cake. cake. Yes. A, pocket a little cake. pocket cake. And I come up Quite to her and, okay. I say, and I say to her, um, in, hmm, what language would I speak? She look like, like what does her appearance look like? Um, she is dark haired, fair skinned. Dark -haired uh, person. Could be Egyptian. Could be Egyptian, could be, uh, you know, her thought was Eastern European based on the language. Um, the, the, the woman, like when you open the door, she like I immediately see. starts to like back away. And she says, the only thing you've ever heard her say in English, and the only thing she will say in English, she just says, please. Mm, I say in Latin in hopes that something will make sense to her. Um, we're here for you. How can I help? So um, she starts in rapid fire 
just mm-hmm. shooting off these words, uh, shooting off in a language that you don't understand, but it's, you're pretty sure is Eastern European, Eastern. maybe Turkish. Okay. I'm like, give her the cake. Um, <laughs> and so I go and offer she it to her. She eats like, the Are cake you... like she hasn't okay. eaten in. You're now, you're now what a day and a half out, and so right. she she She's... acts like she hasn't eaten in a day. Mm. She eats that cake really fast. Right. She does. Would you like more? I kind of like motion right. to her. And, and she, she, she nods. Like, mm-hmm. stay with her. I'm going to get something more. I've got a few books. Let me get my husband. He could probably talk to her. Well, can we take her back to your suite? We could, but <laughs> I think... <laughs> sweet. Sweet. <laughs> I think to do so, we need to get more food to get her to come with okay. us. Lure her along. Unless oh, you... Yeah. I, I just don't think... We've built unless, enough trust yet, you unless know, maybe. you want me to sneak into the kitchen, because I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> she knows the layout. Yep, I it know was, where the cheese Oh, she's already is. cased the joint. Yep, I already know where all the cheese well, cake you is. You know where the Cheetos are, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Cheetos. I know. <laughs> so, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let you do that, because my, my sneak skill, obviously foot and mouth skill, is best skill that I have. <laughs> I'm not sneaky, so I'll let you figure out foot that. I'll stay with her. I'll That's right. fine. Okay, so you head to the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kitchen is dark, mm-hmm. but you hear um, uh, the, the dining room is dark. The kitchen is quite active. They're preparing for breakfast, they're doing uh, prep, so there's all sorts of stuff going on in there. Uh, when you, um, as you're coming up to it, uh, uh, Reginald, mm-hmm. uh, your waiter, is in, in street clothes. Uh, oh, can I help you? Is there someone here? You look like you have uh, just Clocked off. Um, yes, is there yes. someone here? I don't, I don't want to bother you. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Someone... It's no bother at all. How can I help you? Oh, seriously? Please. Okay. Well, if you insist, I need more food. Me and my husband are quite famished after oh, all of that champagne. I, I just, I need to have something a little more substantial. Of course, of course. Uh, I could, um, I think we have, so uh, the crew have, we have our own food. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, um, just... I could... I could bring you a bowl of stew. Something mm. simple, bread and some stew would be perfect. Of course, where should I have it brought? Um, the woman's I'll bathroom. Be... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Second floor, woman's Actually, bathroom. Actually, he says, where should I bring it? Well, um, and I look around the room. What's the closest, like, just step outside to the, to the outside ledge? You know, so like, like the to, deck? To the deck, So there's, yes. a, there's a grand stairway up out onto the deck. And how far away is that from the woman's bathroom? Does it seem practical place to go to meet that seems neutral? I'm trying sure, to Sure, yeah. You don't want to be right. too close. Yeah. yeah. So I'll be up on the deck. All right. Um, of course, I'll... Uh, 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 you don't husband. want it brought to your room? Okay. No, I need some fresh air. Of course, I understand. Uh, too yes, much champagne. I mean, oh, I, of course. Well, uh... I, and I don't know what that cheesecake was about. That cheesecake. Uh, no, I'm in my room having cheesecake. I think his name was Another Jack. Another good band name. Yeah. Yeah, I think Jack was his name. He loved the cheesecake. I, yeah. It was a bit too much right? for me. I'm not used to it. But I will see you Of soon. course, of course. So about 10 minutes later, um, Reginald comes up and he brings you, it's a, a bowl of indeterminate meat stew. Um, and and a big Another chunk of dark bread. Another band name. <laughs> Another band name. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Thing. Of course, of course. Yep. Um, she starts tearing pieces. Right, right. Slowly. He heads off. Right. She waits a couple more minutes, and she's like basically making these like anal retentive little pieces <laughs> of bread that she can dip in the stew later, and puts the napkin over the bowl and walks. Properly to the restroom. <laughs> okay, uh, make me a spot hidden roll. Okay. Oh yes. E. Okay. Uh, the tarp has been put back over the boat. Interesting. As you walk by, I, I I start to notice it and then just keep it in my peripheral and go. That's interesting, and I keep walking. Okay. So you've mm-hmm. you've essentially been babysitting. <laughs> Sure, or yeah, holding this poor woman hostage. That she jump. she does look like she's try she's like trying to think if she could run past you, mm-hmm. and she doesn't think she can. Okay, uh, but she's like she's like she's she's like wild eyed and, okay. and and terrified. Okay, and can I want to sit down next to her and at least hand her a Kleenex? So okay, that, sure. You know, yeah. kind of like a olive yeah. branch type thing. Okay, so that she yeah. understands I'm not here to. 
Sure. Arrest that, her. Yeah, that's that's fine. And she starts. She cries more. And again, she just says, "Please." Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So um, you come in with the stew, and she eats the stew like it's the first food she's seen. Mm, uh, she's... Like utensils are not involved. <laughs> She just good, downs it. Good thing there's plenty of napkins. Uh, uh, and she she eats. She just cleans the bowl. And she's got like bread, and she's sopping it up. And she looks at you, and she says, "Please, you need to come with us. Can you come with us? I try to. Why not? I I start trying to um. Do you speak a little Greek? Let's see if she understands that. She understands. She knows the language. Mm-hmm. It's clear that she's heard it before, mm-hmm. but she doesn't. She's not very good yeah. at it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have like a paper pencil or like? Uh, yeah, you have a little notebook. You sure. know something to like communicate her when she keeps saying please. Like I, you know, just motion to her and just be like, can you draw you know, it? Draw it. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. From my pocket, hand. Her okay. Paper and pen. Mm-hmm. So a pencil. Huh. Yes. And, and I'll be like, sure. please. <laughs> she, uh, she starts writing, in a language that you don't. Uh, that you, okay. you, it looks like Turkish. Looks you like know, Turkish. Uh, you, you're, you've been around. Okay. She, she's writing. And I see that? Yeah. Okay, so I just kind of put her hand on it and say, no, 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 and grab the pencil and kind of draw like a stick figure and say, like, woman, you know, and then. <laughs> okay. You know what I she mean? She makes it obvious it's yeah. a stick figure woman. <laughs> yeah. Well, Real you know what I mean? Like, like a little person, triangle. Great yeah, skirt. Kind of thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then just be like, no, um, you know, and just be like, pictures. And then hand it and see if she gets the fact that I want her to do like pictograms, Jeez. not like write me a sentence. How do you draw? I snuck onto this boat. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she draws. Um, she draws a boat, mm-hmm. and she draws a big city. Like the boat's going to a big city. Okay, and then I point to it, and I'm like, "Is that New York?" Okay. Um. It, does she look disheveled? Like her clothes are all. She looks she like she's been in a boat for a day. Now. <laughs> you know, in it, like in a covered in a tarp. So yeah, she's not. So I take the pencil mm-hmm. and the paper and I draw for her, like a nice house. Like right. You know, I've done this before. I draw a really nice house, and um, with some food and table, and I try to draw like what she's wearing and then draw a newer version of her. And I go, come with us. You will be safe. Wow. Now she thinks you're going to build her a house. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I got out of it. <laughs> she, she is clearly reticent to go out in, in public. Uh, I take my jacket off yeah. and, I, and I go like this. And I said, OK. All right. Come, I yeah, okay. go, come, like, come right. so with she, me. Yeah. <laughs> She'll step out. So I'm like, I'll bring her, I'll bring her to my okay. room. Um, so you open the bo- door to the bathroom, and Reginald is standing there. Mm-hmm. What's this? Hi, Reginald. How are you? I'm well. Who's your friend? Oh, well, she's one of my students. Mm-hmm. She's a foreign exchange student. She's here. She got lost. I'm taking her back to my cabin. Please excuse me. So she has a ticket then? She does. And where is it? It's in our state room. She doesn't have it on her. Why would she need to? It's late at night. She wasn't feeling good. She went to the restroom. Can we go? It's late. Of course. Thank you, Reginald. Hmm. Uh, okay. So yeah, you, you go to your room and uh, um, your husband is a Oh, who's who's your friend? I will explain everything when we go inside. Can we get inside? It's late. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming too. I gotta see this. <laughs> As we start to go inside and the door closes, I turn to you and I say, "The boat's been recovered again. Mm-hmm. Somebody knows that somebody's been there. So this is going to get really interesting really quickly." Yeah, they're gonna be looking for a stowaway soon. Yes. So it's How about... much is a ticket, just in case we have to don't fess up? Don't worry about and... that. I can take care of that. Well, but we so, don't have one. That's um, the problem. Well, here's an interesting question. Have any, have, any, have any of your characters ever stowed away on a boat? Probably. All right. Nope. Um, so, you know, you have no idea. Like, mm-hmm. 
what the legality of... Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy her a ticket, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm just know. assuming that I could be like, hey, oops, mistake, here's right. the money. Right. Sorry. Okay, sure, you can assume that. Uh, <laughs> or you could keep throwing away, so, keep throwing overboard anyone. <laughs> so about 10 p.m., there are cheesecake. knocks on both of your doors. All right. Uh, and this happens simultaneously. So uh, your cabins are quite close to each other. You're on the same deck. Mm -hmm. um, there are two crew members uh, one who seems to have some sort of rank with each of you. On my, my door? Yeah, to your and your door. Uh, pardon us, uh, and th this happens to both of you simultaneously. Uh, we just need to check your rooms briefly. It's routine. Do, should I put my pants on? <laughs> Please, sir, yes. Okay. If, if I, you don't mind. Hold on. All right. I shut the door. Hide the and gun. I, I put pants on. <laughs> Hides the gun. So I'm 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 in like a nightgown right, right. and and robe, and I just sort of look at them and go, I was not made aware that such checks yes. were routine. I would have properly prepared we're, for we're such an eventuality. We're terribly sorry uh, for the inconvenience. We are doing them now to uh, cause less ruckus. Um, we're given to understand that. Um, well, we just, if you don't mind, we'd just like to briefly check your rooms. What are you looking for? <clears throat> That's not important. I open up my door and say, all right, I've hidden all the contraband. <laughs> Take a look. Um, so they, you know, you can stay in the room. They just come in quickly, and um, both of you make me an intelligence roll. Should I knock him out? <laughs> 94, you I knock think I should out. knock him out. <laughs> I got a hard success. All right, oh, so yeah. for I got you, a five out of for you, <laughs> yes, yeah, these people, have, the castle doctrine is in full effect. <laughs> uh, for you, <laughs> for you um, it's clear they're looking for something large. They're not uh, like they're not opening jewelry boxes or anything like that. They're checking under the bed. They're looking in a closet, that sort of thing. And I'm, I'm sort of just leaning against the wall, my arms crossed, watching right. them. Yeah, I, I am going to uh, uh, <laughs> uh, inadvertently knock into one of them okay. and knock him onto my bed. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? Oh God. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, of course, sir. We we apologize. I I think we're finished here. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you make me a spot hidden roll. Oh, that's a, I see a zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a uh, hundred? That's a zero or? one. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh, zero one. A okay. Very hard so, success. So I got as ninety eight, almost the other. Almost, <laughs> yeah. um, almost you're still identical. thinking about killing the two yeah, guys yeah. that came in your room. What are the chances of getting away with it? Uh, as you come out into the hallway, mm -hmm. you know, you see this the same two guys go about four doors down and knock on her door, and there's no answer. Okay. And then they go in with a pass key. Ooh. I like pull up, pull out a watch and look at it. Okay. Where is she this time of night? It's nine thirty. Let's calm down. It's ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're an old adult. There is there's <laughs> dancing time. still going on. Professional you know? right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna now that I have pants on. <laughs> might as well. Live. I guess I'm up. <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go down a, a little ways further and just okay. kind of listen. You see, the room, door to her room is open, and the and two two crewmen are, you know, not. They're not like casing her room. They're doing the same search they did to your room. I close the door, <laughs> on them. All right. And then I walk down a little ways. Did you get All right. That at Ninety-eight. <laughs> you you close the door on them, and uh, about a couple of minutes later, there's a very confused like. <laughs> um. Do I hear anything else along the uh, corridor? No. No, there's, so, and you don't see any other rooms being searched. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm going to step back into my room and like put on a long coat okay. over, over my nightdress and shoes. Okay. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay. Um, you, you got the, oh, you got the terrible roll. So here's what happens. You are walking down the hall. You see this happen, because you just stepped out. You're walking down the hall and you walk Smack into Reginald, who's with two crewmen, and um, I'm gonna get that man. Like Reginald backs up. You like chuck him oh, off. <laughs> sir, how dare you? It's my 98. Beg your pardon. <laughs> you you racing down the hallways, hitting me in the. We're trying to find a stowaway. A stowaway. There's a stowaway a on stowaway. board. Your um. Is it human? What sort of qua? Yes. What what, it there's not a cocker spaniel that's stowed away. <laughs> But it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
what? I think we're done what here. What if it's a Great Dane? So we imagine found, we the, found the Imagine the, 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 the mayhem and the ruckus that would happen with the Great Dane running <laughs> over. Even a raccoon. The, uh, are so, so Reginald is just looking at you dumbfounded, <laughs> and the two sailors are like trying not to laugh. <laughs> Um, and and re- uh, good good day, sir. Good evening. I, 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 am I a little late <laughs> down the hall? Yeah, I yeah. see all of them. Yeah, you said good like, day to me. <laughs> <laughs> now he must die as well. <laughs> Add him to the list. And now we have a new serial killer. Yeah, that's it. So so yeah, Reginald is like and and um, you you because you made the great role uh, when he like walks on like Reginald said you clearly hear Reginald say to the two sailors. Uh, yes, he was at the same table. Interesting. The plot thickens. It does. Um, hmm. Would we have discussed at any point during dinner where what, what rooms we were in? No, I, we were too busy listening to Vecna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or not listening yes. to Vecna, as the case uh, may be. Tuning out. Yeah, so, so no, <laughs> your room, you know. know, you know vaguely what deck. You know that they're in first class because, mm-hmm. you know, anybody who's in first class is going to mention that. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And I know that that was her room? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the three of you are on the same deck, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you sort of noticed as you were coming back from Psst. dinner. Come here. What? Are you, are you, what? What? There's a stove. Yes, I heard. I heard them say. <laughs> it might be a cocker spaniel. <laughs> that would be rather too adorable. <laughs> so I don't think that's the case. It might be a cocker spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a raccoon. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I suspect, given the context, that it is a person, and they suspect the people who were at our table. Um, so which is why they came and knocked on our door. There's, no. So there's Vecna and then um, the, the rich people, the rich couple. The, yes, the rich couple, and I lost your name, I'm sorry. Emma. Emma. Yeah. <laughs> always yeah, Emma. Always Emma. Not always always Emma. Emma. And I believe Walter's. Emma. Emma's room was, was empty. That was the one they let themselves into. Hmm. I wonder where she is. I don't know. But the rich couple, they were, they were up in first class, and that being the case, hmm. it might be worthwhile going up and having a look. Oh, they might have champagne. <laughs> I usually oh, assume... Or cheesecake. Or I, exactly. I, I, Hold on. More <laughs> we should go investigate. Did this. you not have enough cheesecake? I mean, really, you had all of ours. I had enough, then I had too much. <laughs> now I'm back to wanting more. <laughs> It's a process. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the cycle of cheesecake. <laughs> it's a circle of life there. All right, well then, let's let's go and have a look at first class and see if... You're just going to start knocking on doors? No. I, <laughs> sorry. I'm not. Hopefully sorry. You know, any stowaways? No. Do you have a cocker spaniel? No. Okay. Oh, hopefully it's not too obvious where we are. <laughs> Trying to keep it on the... Yeah, yeah. there are no nameplates. Uh, well, I mean, there wouldn't be. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I think, I think just going... What if we just go and we hang out and we... Look around and see what happens. Just seems lurk like, in the first class yep. hat. Seems like there's, 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 there's a mystery afoot. Everyone loves a good mystery. <laughs> you are the writer, aren't you? Yes, and I love a good mystery. Yes, you they would. They sell much, much better than the <laughs> Anything debunking, I write. debunking <laughs> occult <laughs> stories. <laughs> what, what was it that you write? Uh, I, I debunk occult stories. Yes, I can see why you aren't popular. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that and the lactose thing. <laughs> people, pe- pe- people with money really uh, appreciate the occult. Hmm. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> hmm. There's a knock on your door. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Quick, grab my robe. Throw my I, robe on. Uh, and I pull a few pins out of my hair and toss my hair a bit. All right. Take my glasses Where off. Where is the stowaway? The stowaway, by the way, has has made it clear that her name is Portia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep Portia quiet and out here. I will get the door. Okay. Run to the door. Make me a. Hmm. You're keeping her quiet. Make yeah. me a luck roll when oh boy. Por- when the door when the knock on the door happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wins burns. Yeah, I think we're going to have to inspire that if we don't want to do it. If we don't want roll the game to be roll roll right away. Roll 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 Unless I'm in, even the small ones don't fit in that slot, I'm sorry. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. Oh, second oh, time. Worse. Oh. 
Oh. I think that was Rachel's inspiration. Oh. Yeah. No, no, Rachel's was the first one. Oh, Rachel's was the best. first worst one. Oh. <laughs> first is worst is. Thank you so much for giving us inspiration. Yeah, Please I give just... us more so Amy can waste it for yeah, us. Yes, with my um, Okay, Love so you, you uh, um, when the door, when the knock on the door happens, Portia lets out a little yelp. Okay. All right, it's, I'm just you... like... <laughs> What's up? She's screaming. <laughs> you just look at her and do this? Yes. No, I do the quiet thing. I'm like, all right, Shh. all right. And she, okay, she's just very, she's okay. very jumpy and very scared and mm -hmm. um, clearly does not want to get caught. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the knock on your door. Mm -hmm. You open it. You're in your robe. Slowly open it. There Crack are, my eyes. There are two. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an officer and a, and a, and a crewman. Uh, the officer is, is, speaks, and when he sees a lady open the door, he removes his hat immediately, and he says, I'm terribly sorry to bother you, ma'am, but um, we we need to inspect your room. It seems there might be a stowaway on board. Oh, really? Well, if that stowaway were to be on board and that ticket paid for, would she be a stowaway anymore? I'm Ooh. that blunt with him. I know. She used uh, the word she. Because, uh, the, wow. the, the, because... the, 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 the officer's very confused. He, like, spends a moment, like... And I said, no, I took it paid. Are they still a... St it's like a philosophical question. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Are they still... Uh, well, the, I mean, they, they stowed away, ma'am. Indeed. It happens, especially when one's frightened and their life's in danger. Are we still... I'm very tired. It's very theoretical. Uh, <laughs> You're looking for a person. Do you know what this person looks like? Well, No. No, we don't. Okay. We're, that's, that's why we're checking rooms. That's uh, good to know. So, and, I'm, I'm, and you want to come in my room right now and look for a person yes, that you don't know? E okay. Yes, ma'am. I see. And I'm slowly <clears throat> clearing my throat. I'm hoping you yeah. that so delayed when, you guys enough when to she, get her yeah, somewhere. Yeah, to listen? No, no, no. I you, mean, you I know heard, she's coming heard, in. It's... Okay, so she's coming in. So is there anything in the room that I could be like, we're just hanging out, having some tea or drinks or whatever. Just chit chat. Really. Uh, yeah, been, there's a I like hot yeah, friend. as much hot, as I sure. could. Okay. Yeah. So you you are <laughs> like so I'm just like you like it. hand Portia a teacup and she's just like <laughs> we're like no 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 no. <laughs> I'm like breathe. <sighs> come on. <laughs> when she sees the guys in the un in uniform come yeah. in she's I like <laughs> trying to say, you yeah, tell you. You can yeah. hear the tinkling. Distract her. So then I, I basically her, go over something. and just like, you know, give her a hug and whatever be like, it's okay. You know, and then just, I don't know. Let's, yeah, it's okay. I know he's a terrible man. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. So, uh, so, so and then the just crew, shoot the, a look the, at those the two guys. Looks very like, uncomfortable. Yeah, like just shoot this. a look at those two dudes like, we're having a private moment, sir. Uh, um, is this, this is your. It is very late. Yourself what? and Dr. Aldridge? It is, and we are having an after party here. Can, it, can, can, it, can we come upstairs and, and see the open door sure. right about yeah. now? So you stand up. Can't the you crewman, tell? I mean, this is the obviously an after the party. Mm -hmm. The, the, the Aldrich, officer right? is in there. You can ask Reginald. Mm -hmm. He saw me earlier. This poor woman was sick. She's my student, my mm -hmm. foreign exchange student. And she's clearly upset. How and she's very upset because she lost her ticket earlier. That's... How comfortable is your husband with lying? Um... Well, the answer is not very. <laughs> Uh, he gets a similar look to Portia, not quite as, uh, <laughs> but I, as I, you say, like, my husband can tell you. He's like, yes, I can tell you all about. He's tired. Would you, would you just sit down? Yeah. William, just sit down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, well, we know who wears a pants. <laughs> uh, the crewman turns around. I, I, uh, is, can Emma, I help is you? Is Emma in there? I, I don't know. Who's Emma. Uh, Emma? You see Emma there. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Hey, Emma, 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 Emma. Hey. Emma. Uh, Dr. Aldrich. I think there's evening. a great Good Dane evening, loose apparently. on the boat. Oh, what? Come on in. This is exciting. Join us. We're having an after party. Come you, you, on you, you, in. You, you, you uh, excuse mention. me. Excuse Thank me. Thank you for me. inviting us. Please, oh, if you don't welcome. mind. <laughs> Thank you. Until Thank we're you. just doing a brief search of the room. Until then, if you don't mind, if you'd stay out in the hallway. Okay. Party in the hallway. So then me and I try and escort my... 
uh, uh, Portia, this is, with me. I, I only know two hallway. guests in this room. That is correct. And like I said, this is my foreign exchange student. She's very upset. She's been sick because she lost her ticket. She's been hiding out in what, the canopy, and she should have been in the room. What room is she in? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, we booked the tickets months ago. Number? You know, you uh, know me. Uh, I'm, I'm on this cruise ship. I, I mean, you know me. I'm on this <laughs> 11, cruise 11. ship. How often? I'm 1109. How often am I on this cruise ship? Of course ship? you are. Every uh, year. 1107, probably. I don't remember. I've so, been yeah, in he, most he of these you. rooms. And, ma'am, where's your ticket? And he, he speaks to Portia. Mm -hmm. Make a luck roll for Portia. Oh, God. Does anybody else want to do this? <laughs> you're the here, one who's here. like, you're the one who's managing her. <laughs> Blow on it. Magic. Do the thing. God. You wanna? Uh, Might as well. I enjoy that you're gonna spend all your inspiration. On this chew, we're just gonna end up like he's gonna end up just. It's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, roll up. Please. <laughs> Three in a row. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't leave. Let, let me you're... see those dice. Those are different. Oh, it's your they're, turn. They're okay. different it's, dice. Exorcism. These are. They go on the dice of. Those are my Shame good dice. Those Shame. are my good dice. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore, they're yeah. not. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> See, they're amazing oh, no. dice. It's just Amy that's bad. <laughs> I don't know. There, I fixed them for, for you. For everyone at home. Try, try, it try it again. I went from a 78 to an 02. <laughs> try it again. Uh, all right, so uh, there is a brief moment. I, I ask him just based on that roll. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> There's a brief moment when, so he, he asked Portia mm -hmm. where her ticket is. And there's a brief moment where there's just one sob. Mm -hmm. She just sobs once and says, please. Mm -hmm. And then kind of pulls it together. OK. And um, yes, ma'am, are you all right? And so I just put my arm around her and just be like, it's, she's having a tough day. She seems terribly mm -hmm. upset. Uh, uh, what is she's... your room number, ma'am? Please. Ooh. She doesn't remember. She's been up all night because she lost it when she just got on the boat. I'm telling you. Here. Oh, goodness. Is there a way for us to just give her another ticket and give her her room? She doesn't even remember where her room is. She's a foreign exchange student. Is, is I could pay for the ticket right now. She's really upset about it. Is she's this very, the person? She doesn't speak English. Is this the person you, you said slipped on the... Uh... The water outside of the, the kitchen and hit her head? That's correct. What? That's correct. That sounds like a lawsuit. Are you injured, ma'am? <laughs> Please. She's not feeling well. Uh, ma'am, I'm going to need you to come with us. We're going to go see a doctor if you did indeed injure yourself. Isn't your husband a doctor? He is, that's why Not she's... Not that kind of doctor! <laughs> I'm a surgeon! You're a surgeon. You must have had general practice yes. here at some point. Uh, oh, um, well, doctor, then, would you examine the patient and take a look? Or... And I, I shoot him a look like, <laughs> I love you, sweetie. I love you. Uh, Do me right right now, uh, and I will reward uh, you uh, for uh, here the kingdom of <laughs> Somehow he, he holds it together, and he, like, goes, and he, he um, he's, like, trying to remember where the damage was, as, like, uh, it looks like she's suffered some mild... Yes, she has a, a very good bruise on the back of her head. Uh, when he goes to touch her hair, she, like, pulls away. And she once again sh says something in Turkish. Yeah. It's all... I start speaking. And she like, she, like, turns around from him, and she's, like, looking at him with, like... She's got that wild-eyed look back again. Mm -hmm. I'm sure her head hurts just dreadfully. Um... I, I really think we should take her to the ship's doctor. Uh, we want to document this uh, in case there is any sort of legal proceeding. Uh, uh, you will, of course, understand. Um, I can have her things sent to her room if you know what her room is. That's the problem. I don't. Uh, I can give you the... I have the passenger manifest, so if you... What's her name? Portia. Portia. I'm sorry, what is her full name? Oh, gosh, it's late. Excuse me, let me go and find. Very well. I have lots uh, of students, you know, and I start digging through, like, mm. my bag, trying to find a Make book. me a, a 
I'm gonna offer me a role. Fast talk, persuade something. Mm. Offer me a role and tell me what it means. You are How you're gonna? Uh, no. <laughs> Indeed. Um, oh no, that was Sai. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not persuaded. We miss you, Sai. We yeah. do miss you. Please she probably on. speaks a <laughs> foreign language, too. And has better dice. <laughs> dice are fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a persuade roll. All right, so you're going to try and persuade him. Well, that doesn't look yeah. great. Okay, so uh, the captain is, you know, you try and, and stall him. Yeah, Sorry, not the captain, the, the, okay. the officer. officer. The officer finally just says, this woman has been injured. She has. I'm taking her to the doctor. We can figure out where her room is mm -hmm. at that point. Uh, I will, uh, um, if if the, we find nothing wrong with her, and if she has a room, we'll remand her back to your care. Okay. Uh, and you can come to the doctor's office in the morning, and uh, uh, we can take care of this. I see. And you don't think my... Husband is qualified enough to, to fully examine her. I see how you are. Uh, All right. Well, for legal reasons. I, I'm going to document this. What is your name, sir? Uh, her my, name, my, name, my name is Lieutenant Standish. Lieutenant Standish. I thought it, it was you, Standish? Standish, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. I thought it was you, Standish. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're back and forth every year, aren't you? Absolutely. I know this boat like the back of my hand. Bo just let us some some uh, bits for an inspiration. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you, Bo. Hey, thank I'm you, Bo. I'm still Bo. mad at Bo for stealing it. my yeah, exactly. tentacle. Bit. <laughs> Hi, Bo. Hey. What's up, man? Oh! <laughs> I should get points See, for that. See, that's going to you. See, it will work. Yeah, it knows where it's going to end up. It right knows, back it in knows the who's going to need it. Yep. It, it thought it was you, Standish. <laughs> Lieutenant Standish falling over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Standish and the crewman will take Portia. Mm -hmm. uh, she is freaking out. And, like, they have to as politely as they can and it's clear like these guys are not like trying to rough her up or anything yeah. they're very uncomfortable with the fact that this woman is like f not fighting them but trying to get away from them and they're both like how do we <laughs> um, I how do we like, say in Greek like, it's like wrangling okay. a cat and in Latin hoping that something will cr uh, click you are safe these men are safe relax calm um I try okay. different words, and, okay. I, and I try to be as reassuring as I can to okay. her. So about 11 o'clock, they finally get her out of the room, and they take her. Uh, the doctor's office is below de is on one of the lower decks down in the, in the crew area. Um, they give you a, a pass so that you can go down to the doctor's office in the morning, because uh, normally it's a restricted area. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and they they take her off. Okay. And so as soon as it's clear, I'm like, get in so, here. Um, so what? with in the, the last name bit, of God. So when when the, when you go when you guys you guys outside notice that like every door in this hallway is open and people are just like. <laughs> Mm. It's right. Great, great so, day, everybody. It's a so, great day. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm so, so I'm gonna grab his shoulder and just like turn him and push him inside. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and just close the door behind me. Mm -hmm. What in the name of okay. God? Okay. Calm down, everybody. Um, <laughs> so I. Okay. She's a stowaway. Yes. Yeah. All I right. mean, essentially. Did you stow her away? Well, I didn't do it. She did it herself, and I obviously didn't help very much because obviously, look what happened. I mean, look what happened. <laughs> um, but um, we almost just had the first spit taken. <laughs> <out of history. laughs> you would not believe how many times I have had to just cover my mouth because I've almost spit something across the table. <laughs> But and then I dig out wherever we dropped the notebook from, um, and I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know what she's hiding from, but she is freaked out. And I get the fact that like, you know, she's obviously stowed away and whatnot on a boat that you could get thrown over. I don't know what happens on the stowaway, but I'm like, she keeps trying to you tell us to know. <laughs> this, and then like, hand, does anybody know what this means? And um, so she notebook. shows you a picture, yeah. a crudely drawn picture of a boat yep. going to like a big city. And then That's whatever, what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll get you a lollipop later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but doesn't there have writing on the top? She started to write. And oh, yeah, like, she wrote. There's no writing idea. in a language that you, both, you both might recognize as Turkish. Mm. 
The I, weird I, combination of umlauts and curly things under the sea. <laughs> Spanish and Portuguese and So you you recognize that it's Arabic. Turkish but you don't know what she's saying. Mm -hmm. uh, the Arabic would be the closest thing. Mm -hmm. Arabic is close-ish, but it's uh, still not Turkish. It's, yeah. yeah. It's a different alphabet is the challenge. Yeah, so she just kept saying please and then just started talk like I don't know what she's saying. I don't know what she's writing. I can't figure out what the deal is. Well, did she have anything with her? Just blankets, right? And she, she had, had a bag. She, she had a little. Pack. She had a she bag, had a... but you—that bag was not with her. Oh, so she didn't come with the bag. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should Ooh. head back and find See out. If we do you can think find this has anything to do with the uh, the room that was broken into? I think it does because potentially when we came back, when I came back with the soup, oh. somebody had recovered it, as if they'd known she was there. Well, and something perhaps even more interesting: they were checking. Only our rooms. The rooms mm -hmm. of the people who were seated at the same at the table. Same table with oh. Mr. Oh, the Vin terrible bore. Yeah. Oh, they obviously goodness. didn't check his room because they would still be there. Talking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we should have got him. That would have been the perfect distraction. Oh, you know, oh. you are gonna involve him now. You just are put him up. Just correct. he's the front man to the whole entire operation. Our face character yeah. is an NPC. Here, I need a distraction. What could go wrong? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> All right, where, where where did you find the girl? So she was in um, a lifeboat, and it's just it's down the hall, around the corner, mm -hmm. and then it's like the fourth one past the the main entranceway, um, and you really have to like struggle to get the <laughs> the thing up. <laughs> all right, well, since they're all busy with with the girl herself, let's go find out if she left anything mm -hmm. behind. Okay, so you go to the lifeboat, and so and um, uh, um. The tarp, you, you can pull the tarp aside. It is, you know, it's very taut. It's Told hard you. to do. Um, <laughs> is it? Is it though? <laughs> uh, and inside the lifeboat is a blanket that smells not very good. Um, two apple cores mm -hmm. and, her ba and a bag. And the bag has one set of women's clothing. Like, not great women's clothing. All right, so there's nothing else in, in her things? All right. Things is a strong word. Thing maybe mm -hmm. might be you know, it's like singular. No. There's nothing. There's no stolen anything. There's Pouches. no money. Artifacts. What, what, no, what, no artifacts. Creepy dolls. What or... did her clothing look like approximately? Was it like street rat level clothing? It wasn't quite street rat level, but it was not. You know, it was it was lived in. Mm -hmm. And and this this set, the other set in the bag is very similar. And it's it's um, I mean, it, it looks kind of. Not old timey, but it's not it's not modern Western clothing. Mm. Hmm. Modern Western clothing. Does it does it look like something that would belong in England? Possibly, but not quite. It looks not. I mean, uh, it it's it's pr it looks kind of Eastern European again, mm. or or sort of old worldy kind of thing. All right. And I'm, I'm assuming it was she packed appropriately to yeah, be on a boat yeah, or whatever. Like packed. Took yeah. a while too. It packed. Was, <laughs> She rolled them up so they could fit more in there. Then the bag was empty. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one takes so few things along with them on a transatlantic uh, unless voyage it's... unless they have nothing else and they're mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. trying for something better. True. How much did I've you? I've seen that look in. No idea. <laughs> I've seen that look in in a person's eyes before, though. She was terrified and yeah. desperate, running from something. Mm -hmm. And yes, I've seen that she has nothing, well. no one. I wish I spoke her language. Just was never interested in Middle Eastern languages. I, I suppose there's only so much time. Mm. The the bell rings for midnight. Oh, it's so late. Oh, oh it's God. very late. And at midnight, mm -hmm. uh, crew members start doing rounds. Mm -hmm. So they start uh, they start walking around the decks outside every you know sporadically, but. Um, there is, are, are there any coming toward us? No. What about Randall or whatever his name is? You have not seen Reginald at all. That's it. I'm calling him Randall for what, now. What, <laughs> um, I mean, are we not supposed to be out? Is there? No, no, it's fine. It's totally it's fine. fine. It's a boat. Yeah. But they're just protected. It's just, it's, it's just... It, yeah, it tends to be uh, at nighttime um, in case somebody goes overboard. If someone falls over, it's like very... that. They, they have rounds outside. Like Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, and he I might. endorse that. He, he might. He might go over. Um, well... Um, it is late. Perhaps we should. Are you uh, leaving the stuff in the boat? No. No. Okay, so you're uh, taking. You should take it because she's your intern. <laughs> I have. 
Susan my Hinkley, my gut instinct it. tells me I should check on her before before the sun rises. Yes. With much persuasion. I don't know why, but I think we should go down there. And here's mm -hmm. part of the logic. That woman's place was broken into. They might not be related. But it seems odd that the two things happen so quickly. Yes. Uh, and probably uh, a very convenient find for the uh, the captain to just pin it on and that's be what done I'm with it. About. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not really worried. Absolutely. And that's why we should take her things so that they can't. It would be easy to peg. Yeah. Well, there's n and there was nothing in her things that was anything of value. No. No. Yeah. yeah. And again, here's a theory in case Reginald. It could be bunnies. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. Could be aliens as well. Um, case like she was. Well, never mind. It's just insane. Never mind. Well, no. Let's hear it. Well, any theory is better than it's none. It's early for just insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But when we came back, um, when you came back through, mm -hmm. um, we had basically gotten her out of the lifeboat, and she had left her bag there, and it was uncovered. I didn't go back and try and cover the lifeboat up, and when we walked past, the lifeboat cover was covered again. So it could someone be, else is aware. Yes. And knows that there's probably a bag in there. Um, and they're you know. trying to pin it. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that to happen. They may have a closer look at us if the bag goes missing. A crewman just walks by. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Evening. Did you see the dog? Uh, I look at you, raise an eyebrow. <laughs> So, so you saying something makes him stop, and then he notices that the lifeboat is open. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I thought we closed it. No, it's, it's hard to close. Oh, oops. Uh, uh, did you know that the people who die at sea die because there are not enough lifeboats on a boat? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> sir, did you, did you open this lifeboat? I did, indeed. Why did you open this lifeboat? Because I'm checking out the lifeboats. Safety and security. Safety Why? first. Safety first. <laughs> are you are you certified to check lifeboats? No, but it, isn't it our duty as citizens to check to see the citizens validity? Of, citizens of, of, of the sea? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to ask you to not <laughs> alter or in any way uh, uh, tamper with any more of our lifeboats. That's... I wasn't tampering, just looking. No tampering involved, just checking the just soundness looking. of this mm -hmm. seafaring vessel. If there's vessel. an emergency, I need to know exactly where to go, what boat to get in, how to get in it, yes. where to sit. Yes. I um, need to know all of these things. The good things. news, no holes in this boat. I, I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Please pardon the loud noise you're about to hear. And he blows a whistle. Please don't blow the... Oh, I, I, I go, what? I go to, like... I'm like, seriously? <laughs> He's very confused by all of this. <laughs> he, he just is. Uh, like I wouldn't. We we can't have guests. Oh, oh, that's right. Romping around in our lifeboats. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Pull it down. Close it up. <laughs> we promise we will leave the boats alone. We will. We we are terribly sorry for having taken uh, your time. Yes. An officer. Uh, comes out of the door with a with a clipboard. Uh, Rollins, what what is it? Uh, these four were out for well, a walk. Tell me, to what, tell the officer what what happened here. Oh, I was We've out. Had champagne first of all, no. and it's late. Cheesecake, a lot of cheesecake. A lot and then of we were talking cheese. about what sweats. to do in emergency. And then and then they opened then, the lifeboats. Well, they were, they were because lifeboats. we wanted to see how they were, seaworthy it was. There were rumors of a Great work? Dane. <laughs> I was scared. I needed to know if that dog. Begin. Did something to the engines if I could get into a boat. <laughs> Please forgive us. I, it's I late, failed sir. math class. You, you, you must understand it's very late. I'm look. I think it's best if we all just walk away and completely pretend agree. like none of this happened. However, and he 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 asks each of you for your mm -hmm. name and your room number. Oh, God. If I hear any tell <laughs> of any of you being anywhere near a lifeboat unless this ship is sinking. And then I'm like, 
Please, drink, uh, and please I, drink I, I just know. <laughs> I look at him and I go, what, what if we really wanted to lean on? And I started, I start to, <laughs> and I smile. Just Ma'am, I'm that, not that hint it. of kiddishness. I'm not touching it. I just go, <laughs> what if we wanted to, Ma'am, and we're tired. It would be a shame if there was another person put oh, in the brig tonight. Just teasing well, who's the first you. Person? Jeez, lighten Reginald? up. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's our not, waiter. You don't need to know. <laughs> I don't like him your, very much. Your waiter? Reginald's He's shifty. our waiter. He's, you know, a good guy. I, I'm going to ask you all to leave now. <laughs> Please, ladies, let's, let's go. Do we have to leave the boat? Because that's why we were in the lifeboat. <laughs> no, go back to your rooms, go to bed. <laughs> You're drunk, and you weren't very yes. smart to begin with, clearly. <laughs> Clearly. And do not tamper with any more lifeboats. I give myself permission one time a year to not be smart. I am a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> good night, sir. Yes, good night. Good Spin night. around. 1109. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were 1109. I'm 1105. 1111. All right. Um, uh, um, I moved two rooms down. The officer leans down and says something to the crewman. Uh, and the crewman will like make sure that you all leave. Like the crewman is staying mm-hmm. on the deck, like waiting until you Pause. all go. Well, yeah, so I'm I'm going to bed and gonna right. wake up early for some cheesecake. All right. Uh, so everybody goes to bed. Everybody, make me a pow roll. Your your pow stat. Yeah. Mm, How no. much did you? What'd you? Uh, my pow is fifty, Ooh. and I got seventy. Yes. Right, yeah, I made it thirty-one. I oh my god! You actually made a roll. I made a roll. <laughs> I made by one. All right, so you missed it. So. You have a night of very uncomfortable sleep, and you have a weird dream. Mm, You have a dream, Mm -hmm. and in this dream, uh, Portia is in a cell, and you see Portia, like, in the cell, reacting to someone coming towards her, and, like, backing away. And the last thing you see is a butcher's knife. And then you wake up like, <laughs> in a cold sweat. <sighs> and at that point, all of you make me a listen roll. Ugh. Oh, yes. Oh, actually, yes. All right, it is, uh, uh, it is mm-hmm. it's, it's quite early. It's still dark out. But you, anybody who made the listen roll nope. hears faint... I got a hard success. So not as faint for you. <laughs> a blood-curdling scream. A female blood-curdling scream. I wake up and I yeah, grab I open my, door. my I boots, I put them on, okay. I grab my jacket, uh, and I run out the door. It seems like n- some other people sleeping. may have heard it, but most people are kind of mm-hmm. not reacting or that sort of I'm thing. I'm going to throw, throw my coat and my shoes on and take okay. off toward it. You have no sound. idea where the sound came from? Okay. I am guessing. Just out of fear. <laughs> well, I guess it get, uh, based, but it's the medical bay, and that's where well, we're going. Based on what they said the night before, someone else in the brig, mm-hmm. and and the dream that I had, I'm going to aim in that direction. All right, you have no idea where the brig is. Down, just going down. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so you two coordinate, and you end up on the same stairway as her. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to wake him up or? Yeah, I don't know if we need any more Great Dane investigation. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just his, make it harder. Yeah, I'll pound on his. <laughs> Because if we run past his door, I'll just bang on it and be like, Get Next up, week, we're going the role to the of Thomas will be played <laughs> by. <laughs> a great day, nice Scooby Doo. Uh, all right, she pounds on your door and says, uh, You know, we're going to the brig. Scooby Snack. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, okay, you get down, and intermittently, you see like a few confused people like poking their heads out or something like that, but it's, it's, the sort of like quiet that only happens at like five in the morning, where it's just dead calm and Everyone's quiet. Asleep. There's, mm-hmm. you know, there's the not most of the, of the crew is gone, uh, uh, is not around. Um, so you just start heading down, and you had noticed in your earlier walks that the stairway, the guest stairway, goes to about the fourth deck, mm-hmm. and then there's another stairway behind a little rope mm-hmm. that goes down to the to the crew area. Mm-hmm. Um, is it locked? No, there's just, it's a little. It's literally, it's literally <laughs> yeah. just a little rope across it. Wonderful. Okay. Yep. Rope. So rope. you yeah. you head down. You're now on the third deck, and you um, the third deck is where a lot of the kitchen work is done. Mm-hmm. So there are uh, um, a number of people down here. You hear a lot of Spanish being spoken, and that's sort of, there's not a lot of English being spoken down here, <laughs> uh, and 
Uh, people are sort of looking at you, kind of confused. I'm just ignoring them and just sure. going. Mm-hmm. Uh, how far down are you? So you you see, it's sort of hard to read, but there's a there's like a layout of the boat mm-hmm. next to the staircase, and it looks like the brig is on the bottom level. It would be. Um, the medical office is on the next level, is on level two. And eventually I make my way down to the rope. Yeah. And don't go any further. All right. <laughs> you're right. stymied by I'll a rope. I'll wait. I'm like, oh, son of a... Stymied by a yeah, rope. You see yeah. the rope yeah. is hanging down rope. and you're like, god damn it. Oh, the rope is hanging down? Yeah, it's <laughs> open. Yeah. Yeah. It's we open. Yeah. straight past that rope. I'm going to hang the rope back up and go down there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was stopping no, no, me No, 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 no. That's part of the alibi. You messed up the alibi. If the rope right. was open... <laughs> if the rope is open, yeah. you can go in. Okay, so uh, you're all heading down. You catch up with them. Uh, you're on the second level, mm-hmm. and um, there's a crewman, uh, uh, and there's a several uh, somebody from the doctor's office. Like a crewman has run into the doctor's office like super fast. Mm-hmm. Um, when you come down the stairs, like he doesn't even he does, he he might register that you're there, but he's make, booking it into the doctor's office. Okay, so I nudge uh, Octavia. I'm like, show him the pass. Let's go in. Yeah, I show him the pass. I so they okay, you, you walk yeah. into the doctor's office, and there's a crewman. There's a uh, um, the 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 night doctor is mm-hmm. sitting there like half asleep, and there's a crewman going like, "You've got to come with me. You've got to come now." And the doctor's like getting his bag and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And the crewman is like pale and freaking out. Where? What is going on, sir? What's cr- like? The, well, he, he hears where's it. Where's like, my? You where's kind my of student? snap him back into reality. And and where's my student? He goes, where's my student? Why? Why are you I here? Heard scre- I heard a woman scream. Where's my student? She was here that? under care. Where you is know, she? You know the stowaway? She? She's no stowaway. What are you talking about? You're talking Who's about? the exchange student? <laughs> There's a woman here by the name of Portia. She was brought down here, I don't know, a few hours ago. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, no, no, she was a sto- uh, Look. Really? Stay here. I have to get the doctor down there. I'll be right back. I By this what? time, the doctor's like, Whoa. So the crewman just, like, physically drags the doctor out wow. of there. Wow. I look at you, I go, let's, let's follow go. him. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I'm going to just... just Keep a distance. <laughs> okay, so uh, the crewman drags the doctor down to the first floor. Mm-hmm. There are um, there are a number of uh, there are more crewmen down here, and um, it's uh, one of them stops you and says, "Please, you, you know, mm-hmm. please don't go any further. Uh, stop here, please." And you hear in the distance, you hear clearly Portia like sobbing. And just like and 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 wailing, uh, and you see like the crewman that took the doctor in there. He walks out and he just immediately throws up. I'm gonna okay. stealth in this chaos and try okay. to hide behind some. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still it's not that hard. Yeah. Uh, um, so so there's another crewman whose back is to all this, and he says, and he's like he's. It's clear that his job is just to keep everybody back. He's also keeping other crewmen back. They're not okay. letting anybody in the mm. brig. Um, while you're standing there, yeah. the uh, um, a senior officer, probably the night watch, comes down, and and says, uh, "Jenkins, what's going on here?" He says, "You better go, better go take a look, sir." And he goes through. Uh, he comes out, pale as a sheet, and he he says, "Jenkins, call the captain." Is she all right? Can we see her? She's obviously sobbing. Can we? Is there anything we can do to help her? She's with the doctor now, and who is are she you? Still crying. I'm like, she's your your exchange student. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> your exchange I'm, student. I'm just stare. I'm like, <laughs> she's your exchange student, Portia, yeah, the exchange student. I mean, uh, excuse me. I, it, it's the look on your face is something very odd has happened. Uh, I am an something expert. Something awful has happened. Oh, but not <laughs> odd. Is- I'm not at liberty to say uh, 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 any. I'm, I'm not at liberty to say anything to guests of the of the ship. I would ask that you go back upstairs. Even high-paying guests who come here every year and spend lots and lots of money, and then those I grab guests that thing and have a medical pass just, to see the woman just so happen to have her student over there being held hostage, and I don't uh, understand what's going uh, on here. Make me a persuade roll. All right. Yeah. 
Um, you get advantage, so roll. You get to roll two. That your tens dice twice and keep okay. the better one because you're you spend so much money on this cruise ship. All right. Hello. Yes. All right. <laughs> so he knows. He clearly he's like, well, um, Professor Aldridge. That that's one of your students. Yes. She lost her ticket a day ago when she first got on board. She's been terrified. She doesn't speak very good English. Uh, she doesn't speak hardly anything at all. Professor, you, you'd better. What? Uh, What's? You'd best come with me. She straightened my shirt. Follow him. Uh, the so the Very the uh, Jenkins. As soon as the captain is here, you let me know. The 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 head of the watch takes you, and he's now like, if you're with her, mm -hmm. he'll yes. let you. Cool. Yep. So, um, you step inside the brig, and the brig is it's it's like two small rooms. It's two small cots, really. Uh, and on the floor, screaming and crying, and mm. without her left arm, is Portia. Her arm has been cut off about here. I like, I'm like. And, um, and at that, and she's, she's just curled over like this, and the doctor is like trying to apply a tourniquet and all this stuff. And, and that's when she looks up at you, and she says, Please, and that's when you notice that her skin has been flayed off of her in the middle. So she has just a large gaping wound where her 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 midsection has been cut, uh, not open. It's been cut off, like a chunk of her skin has it's been, been cut, cut off. Out. Oh Lord! I turn and look at the doctor, and I look at the inspector or the, the night the, the, the head night of watch. Head of watch, and I look at the two of them like, what is there? What is going so on here? It is clear, like. Anyone that comes, so first of all, everybody that came in the room is going to make me a sanity roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is possibly the first for many of you. This is the first dead, uh, the first of uh, this amount of blood you've ever seen. Made it. Not yeah. for everybody. <sighs> what? Oh, sorry. So, yes, what I is, made it. What yep. it. So you want to roll under your sanity, and, and it's in the big here. box. Oh, I rolled on it. Okay, that's that's a success. Did anybody miss the roll? Yep. You're all terrifying people. Yep. Yes. Oh! Horribly. Of course you did. 95. Oh, oh, no. oh, yes! If only it were a 96 or yes. up, that would be a fumble. Uh. All right. Uh, Jackson, this is not what you, you know, this is the worst thing you've ever seen. Like, you're, you you can see her bone and all that. Um, you lose two sanity. Ooh. Oh. And, um, and you are sick to your stomach. Yeah, on to <laughs> the, the most meek-looking uh, <laughs> a crewman that's yes. nearby. Uh, hey, you you just look at it and you just go, uh, uh and you just throw up all yeah, over a crewman. Um, oh god, uh, I gotta get out. I, I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Uh, the uh, doctor no. is, uh, um, you know, none of you are medical professionals, yep. but it seems. I mean, the doctor's doing everything he can. Um, it's not clear how long she's been like this. Mm -hmm. Well, it can't have who been else? for very long, or she would have bled out who from a wound like that. Who else is in the besides the doctor? It is one crewman okay. who is leaving now to get a new uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It is uh, the, the head of the watch and the doctor. Okay. Those are the only two people. And the head of the watch is just, this is your student? She is, but she wasn't What's like her this. Her name is Portia. Pardon me, her full name. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm telling you, I don't remember her last name. I'm sorry. You don't remember the last name of yes. your student? She's supposed to come with me on this trip. I just met her, picked her up. I'm really tired. Her last name's upstairs in my stateroom, along with the other list of students. And Do you know how many people I teach a year? She's staying with you, Dr. She, Aldridge? She is, but All she's right. not in my room. She had her own room, and I don't know what her room number is. I'm sorry. But the better question is... Why is she in the brig? Was the brig locked? And why is she hacked well, up? Yeah, how did that she's happen? She's a stowaway. How do you know her to potato, be a potato. stowaway? <laughs> she, I, I picked her up in London. I met with her parents. Ma'am, you'll forgive me. We have a crew member who pointed out the location where she Reginald. was stowing away. Reginald. After she lost her ticket a day ago, after she first boarded. She slept in a lifeboat? She did because she doesn't speak English. Well, then, at the very least, ma'am, I she hope didn't you'll know where see how we can easily is. assume that she... <clears throat> Can we rewind this conversation back to... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You've st- what happened to her arm? Are we safe on this boat? I mean, was was she locked in here? Who had keys? Who had access to this? You know, let's not argue well, about what her last name is. Let's argue about what just happened in here. The brig uh, uh, at night, there is a mm-hmm. crewman that is normally on watch. Oh, and at- what's his first and last name? <laughs> uh, uh, that was Jenkins, who you met okay. outside. Uh, he's an estimable uh, uh, crewman. Mm-hmm. Um, we are going to institute a bow to stern search of the boat, commencing immediately. We, uh, the, uh, I'm going to suggest this to the captain. Obviously, mm-hmm. I can't uh, uh, do it. And uh, we found... Uh, we're going to make a full accounting of every guest and every crew member. And was the door locked? To the brig? Correct. Uh, Jenkins uh, was not... Jenkins had stepped away okay. to use the restroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the door to the brig was not locked. Understand. Okay. And so at any time, the, typically the crew has access to this area? All of yes. the crew? Yes. All the crew has access. Okay. So the, crew, the crew sleep on these two decks. Got it. These are the crew quarters. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, except for the executive crew. Okay. Can I glance around and see if I if I spot the butcher knife that I saw in my dream? Sure, make a spot hidden roll. And while she's doing that, I ask him, like, what about Box. any animals? Mm-hmm. Do we have any wild animals that are in the... That's a little clean. In steerage for an animal. I'm just reaching here. Uh, the the uh, animal? You know. Like a bear or something? I mean, my God, she's Great missing thing. an arm and has like <laughs> half of her side. A bear? I don't know. Well, you explain to me what how it could take somebody would take an arm off an individual. Probably with a knife. Oh. Uh, did you make the roll? I did not. Okay. Um, no, but so what you do notice is that um, <laughs> the blood bears. The, the, bears. There's, there's you know there's a lot of blood and um, the there there the blood like hmm. there were tracks. Mm, to the door, and then the tracks disappear. What kind of tracks? Uh, uh, shoes. Okay. How big approximately do they look? Do they look like about my size? Probably like male. Small woman's they or? were. They looked like a, a man shoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a man shoe. <laughs> <laughs> like a man purse. Okay, so you're making fun of me about the bear's comment. Do I see the fact that she's looking at? <laughs> the shoe I'm not making fun of you. <laughs> uh, the captain bears. comes in. Okay. Uh, uh, bears. The captain is a, a, a very stern, heavily bearded Swedish man, uh, uh, Captain Gustavsson, and um, the the head of the watch like um, just downloads to the captain what's going on. The captain looks. <laughs> the captain is terrifyingly calm this whole time. He's not reacting at all. He's the bear. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, you asked, and I uh, the the head of the watch is like, I think we should do a, a a full search of the ship. And the captain nods. And so the head of the watch goes off to uh, uh, to begin that process. Um, the captain introduces himself to you to each of you and uh, apologizes for this. You know, this unfortunate, uh, I'm very sorry for this unfortunate occurrence. Um, did you know this young woman? Yes. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, then I'm very, very sorry. And uh, I wish to, um, I will keep you apprised of our investigation. But I would ask, please, if you would leave at this point. So I kind of lean over and go. Well, do you need to see the doctor, sir? Uh, Yeah. Mm. Do I see? Is the arm missing? The arm is Ooh, gone. The arm yeah, is good no clean. The arm, thank chat. Cleanly, clear. Thank chat. chat. <laughs> thank like, chat. like surgically. Barely. Yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, uh, hmm. Not surgically. Not Your husband was surgeon. Right. But it wasn't like it was, it like the hair. arm was cut it off. It was cleanly cut yeah. off. <laughs> okay. Um, and and the slices around here also not surgical. No, but do they look and, and pretty superficial? Yeah, it was, was mainly saying, like looking for. Do they look like claws or? No, it nice. looks like it looks like a slice, like a knife mm-hmm. or something. Okay. Still could be a bear. It, <laughs> we <laughs> can't rule it out. <laughs> still think it's right, the bear. Bear. Right. Could be a bear with a cleaver. <laughs> you don't. You and also a bear. Yeah, we have a running yep. joke. Yeah. Um, um, can we can we look around a little bit? Sure. Yeah, the captain is. I mean, anything. the captain is like you know he's just like. <laughs> At this point, you're more help to his crew. <laughs> nah. All right, yeah, because yeah, right. we're, 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 we're not throwing. You up. were yeah. more help to the crew until yeah. you started. Until to I make... slipped in the blood. <laughs> I, I so, go to walk up to the captain. and I say, Captain, please forgive me, but 
there's been some mix up too about her and the ticket and all of these that things. is not important right now what Good. is important is i'm glad but can can you please notify me when she can yes she has, after done helping uh, I'm, her i'm, I'm, I'm responsible for she her. will need to stay in the in the medical quarters uh, i'm guessing for i don't i'm not a voyage. doctor but she's going to need some Major care help. Yes. Um, and we are still three days from new york uh, so we will, um, as I said, I will keep you apprised of our investigation, Thank you. and and um, Thank you. my only concern is for her well-being mm -hmm. and the, to find out what has happened here. That is mine, mine as well, Captain. Thank you for being. Of course, of course. Being so kind, uh, Captain. If you could, um, she does speak uh, marginal English. Do you? Could you recommend somebody who speaks Turkish, perhaps, to us? Sure, sure. We have um, a crewman. Yeah. You know, maybe we could talk to her and find out a little bit more about what happened to her. Um, she seems to trust us a little bit more. Maybe we could get some of the story out for you. Of course, um, I will let the doctor be the the judge mm -hmm. of when she is in a state where she can speak. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, of course, I, I have crewmen that speak Turkish. Okay. So oh. we can we can uh, uh, facilitate that. Um, I'm very happy that you mm -hmm. seem to. Uh, uh, wish to help us in this investigation, but I hope that you understand that for legal reasons, uh, we need to we need to use the resources of the uh, the Royal Mail Service and the company to um, solve this unfortunate incident. Uh, I, I I wish to limit your possible involvement in this. Uh, f main only for legal reasons. I understand that as your student, you have a, a, a strong attachment here, and mm -hmm. we want to to and a uh, responsibility to her family. I owe it of course, to... of course, uh, we wish they're to... going to be very upset that she's not coming back as she was. Yes, yes, this this is this is. Uh, I kind of look at him. I kind of look at him like this has got to be dealt with. Y yes, yes, we we will make sure this is taken care of. Um, do you know her family? Do you have her contact information? I we do could, in my room. Well, if you could send that, if you could have that sent to me, you can tell a purser to give it to me, I and have, then if you can have Reginald come to to my quarters or somebody. I don't, who is Reginald? Do you not have someone by that name on your staff? I'm sorry, I do not know everyone uh, by name on my. St we have <clears throat> we have almost 400 crewmen on this boat. Of course, of course. Um, um, is 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 this someone in particular who, who's been who, very helpful? Whomever you trust and you feel is good is fine. I thought that uh, speaking with him again would be interesting because he saw her earlier. Who is this that saw her? Hmm. Wait, he oh, was our waiter. A waiter is a yes. waiter. Yeah. Yes. He was wandering around up on the. Uh... Yeah. And for some reason, like I said, everybody keeps saying she's a stowaway, and I'm telling you, she's not. I, I, again, I'm yeah, not concerned this with come... this. This is. This is not something I'm worried about at this point. Okay. Um, what my concern is for her well-being. Good. And that we figure out what has happened here. All right. I uh, just want to make sure we're on the same page. It's it's fine. It's okay. uh, um, but this will, for legal reasons so too. And a and waiter named Reginald uh, he found her. What is this? He didn't find her. He he ran into her earlier and scared her. Well, this is not good. Um, I will talk to the to the head waiter about this, and I'll find this Reginald for, uh, uh, and I good. will talk with him. Good. <laughs> good. Um, thank you, yeah. Captain. Of course, of course, of course. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, but please, if now, if you don't mind, um, I'm going to ask you to go back to your rooms. Um, we are going to after breakfast. We're going to remand everyone to quarters and do a bow to stern search. I go to her. Um, and I look at her and I take off a necklace. Okay. She is, um, the doctor has sedated her pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. So she's semi-conscious, but she like locks eyes with you. And and I said, for you. And I, I give her a little locket with mm -hmm. a little picture of a, of a young girl. And I put it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, 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 you know, that, that helps. There's a definite calming to her manner. And, um, and the doctor looks at you and, and says, I'm, I'm going to put her to sleep now. Uh, she's lost a lot of blood. Yeah. Um, um, before the captain goes, yeah. um, could you, I do have a couple questions about um, a Turkish translation. If you could, even before she's awake, if you could direct me to somebody who might be able to, uh, a native speaker. Sure, hold on, cool. hold on one second. Um, he steps out in the hallway mm -hmm. and, uh, Jenkins, uh, find me someone who speaks Turkish real quick. 
And so Jenkins, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Jenkins runs off. We got our Minnesota. Off, yeah. uh, <laughs> Jenkins runs off, and about five minutes later, he comes back with somebody. Okay. Uh, uh, so I take this gentleman kind of aside, not yeah. the main thing, and just um, ask him if he could, you know, you can read and write, correct? Oh, yes. Excellent. Um, and show him the notebook and just say, do you know what these couple words mean right here? Uh, well, that says stowaway. Seriously? That's it? Y yes. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry? I, I... Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was, yeah, I just wasn't too sure that that was, all right, excellent. Thank you. Of course. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, he <laughs> walks off very confused. <laughs> Good thing you took him aside. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well... Maybe you should trumple that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like, this is bullshit. Just, just whip it out. The, just like chuck it out the, yeah, the so, portal. So, the so sure enough, breakfast is is as normal. And at breakfast, there's an, an all-hands announcement that um, other than the crewmen that have been assigned to the search, everyone is remanded to their quarters. And so that means uh. all non-essential crew and all guests go to their go to their rooms. And slowly, over the course of like, it takes until dinner, basically. Um, they bring they bring sandwiches and stuff to people's rooms, but um, all the, for for four or five hours they search every bit of the boat. And uh, the um, you have some you know you sort of have some time, and um, anybody who has a cult over forty can make an occult roll. Yes. No. Oh my god. Oh, that's in the O section. <laughs> oh yeah, that is oh, a... No. I rolled nothing. It's under the O's. <laughs> it's, it's a hard success. Hard? Oh man, okay. Right. Not critical, but... So, you know, you're... For some reason, <clears throat> after you saw that and you just were like, oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. And mm -hmm. later on, you get back to your room and you're having like flashbacks of what you saw. I've debunked this already. <laughs> And for some reason, you're reminded of um, of a story you read about something called the Hand of Glory. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Dun, 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 the Hand dun. of mm -hmm. Glory. Dun, dun, dun. And the Hand of Glory was a medieval um, spell, supposedly, that would make the bear. It, it took the left hand of a thief or a criminal. Mm. That was that was one of the the main uh, uh, items that it required. It also required candles made of the fat of that criminal. Hmm. Tasty. <laughs> so so this is needed to do the spell, right? And right. what does the spell do? The spell, uh, it's you made a hard success. Sure, the spell. Uh, anyone who holds the hand of hand of glory with the candles lit is invisible. <laughs> And uh, uh, no doors and unlo and no doors can be can hold them, so they can unlock anything. I like none nice. of that. <laughs> well, there are easier ways. For to how long? Well. True. Then does it? Well, until the candle burns out. Interesting. And the, the only the thing, candle. since you got the hard success, oh. you also <clears throat> know that the only thing that works looking. on the hand, the only thing that can put out the candles, is milk. Oh. Huh. That's fine. And it has to be cow's milk. Tasty. All right. And on that note, I think we're going to go to break. Uh, so uh, it is. We'll be back in about ten minutes, or as fast as we can all get a get a trip into the restroom. In <laughs> we have one bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Five, ten, fifteen. 20. <laughs> uh, I didn't drink much water, so I think we're good. Uh, so we'll be back in a minute, and we'll see. Uh, what they can find out about this mysterious hand of glory. Milkos. <laughs> Yay. <Yeah. laughs>
Welcome back, everybody, uh, to Quests and Chaos Plays Call of Cthulhu. Woot! We, uh, we're just you talking know. about how to monetize human fat candles. Uh, <laughs> One finger at a time. Worst scented candle ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Our yes. Etsy shop is not yeah. doing well. No, not at all. Not, not doing well. Um, <laughs> so we're back, and uh, it is... It is now dinner. So each of your rooms is searched. This is a much more thorough search. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when they come by, can I ask the guy, like, have you found anything? Like, sure. what, does he give me any information? As far so as the re like, one of the reasons this is taking so long is that the head I of the watch. I keep bothering him. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Probably. But the head of the watch, they're doing one room at a time. And so the head of the watch is searching every room with mm -hmm. crewmen. Um, they have the whole deck shut down so mm -hmm. that nobody can, you know, nobody can come in or out. Um, every every crew member that is not, you know, that that is not doing anything else is in this search. Um, so the head of the watch, um, he'll come into your room first, and right. he he recognizes you, and he he says, uh, um, "Ma'am, I'm terribly sorry, but as as the captain said, we need no, to do a no, search." No, no, I completely I completely understand that poor girl. Please, yes, please. Yes. Uh, hey, who has her bag? You have her bag. You, you have Octavia bag. does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that friend being Ezra. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, they they do a very thorough but very um, um, polite search of your room. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, there's no, they're not tossing the place or anything well, like no, that. Well, no, of course not. Uh, and um, unless you have any questions, they'll move on. Nope. Okay. They come to your room, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the captain oh, no. recognizes you and. Uh, Quick, he brings your toy. Yeah. Yeah. He brings a job. Head of watch. Head of watch. Okay. Head of watch recognizes you, yeah. and he um, he says, "You know, I'm very sorry about everything that's happened." Oh, um, oh if, please, if please you don't look. mind, we um, just need to search your I room. Also, I also uh, search your room, and then I have information. Oh well, of course. And so they they go through your room, and yep. then uh, is your gun hidden in here? Uh, on me. Okay, they're not searching you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, s s similar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, Same. this is going to sound strange. Uh, today has sounded strange. Um, so there is, uh, what, what, um, what area, like, is the 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 folk tale from? Oh, or medieval Europe. Oh, so uh, medieval. Uh, so I am a a writer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an expert in debunking occults. Mm-hmm. And, um, and now I'm going to rebunk them. <laughs> yes, uh, and on, well, I mean, also well, I mean, other people believe. Yes. Them. Yeah. yeah. So oftentimes, this is people that believe things and then do things that are uh, insane, typically. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a story in medieval uh, Europe of it is the the called the Hand of Glory, and. It is a. It's supposedly it, to the texts. It is a spell that will make you invisible and allow you and allow you to cross through any doorway. I know. I know. It sounds strange. I know it sounds strange. However, the ingredients for this are the left hand of a thief and fat from said thief made into a candle. Well, well, thank you for this information, sir. Uh, just so I'm clear, you're suggesting that a wizard on this boat found a cast a stowaway and cut her arm off so that he could be invisible. How do we find an invisible man, sir? There's the rub. Milk. You've been most helpful, sir. Milk. All right. Um, <laughs> Do you want to make a persuade roll or anything? Nope. To... <laughs> Don't even. Nope. All right. Um, you hear some muffled laughter after the door closes. <laughs> They're, they sell really well in college bookstores. <laughs> you almost made me spit my hair in college. one and two. Uh, they come to your yep. room, and the, yep. cat, the head of the watch is there mm -hmm. again, and Yep. He apologizes, and you know he says, no, "I'm no, very no. sorry." No, 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 absolutely. Come, you know, and I basically like stand behind him and just right. drive him insane with questions. Like, yeah. so have you found anything yet? Uh, the only thing we found mm -hmm. is that there is one crew member unaccounted for. Oh, is his name well, Reginald? Yes. Of course it is. Why, why do you say that? Well, he just—he's really suspicious. Um, he was walking around. Um, 
upstairs when we were talking to the girl. He was just really nosy. <coughs> um, <coughs> you know, just kind of, he had a tattoo. You know what they say about people with tattoos. tattoos. <laughs> uh, very unsightly. He, yeah. Very, I, hmm. Not proper at all. That's, uh, I, I was not Highly aware. inquisitive. You know, he wanted to know a lot of things about us. It was really kind of annoying. Huh. Well, um, that's that's good to know. If mm -hmm. we, we are certainly in very you, interested in talking with him. Have you looked in his him. room yet? Yes, his room is empty. Okay. No, it, like of everything? Clothes no, no. His, everything? Uh, his, okay. his stuff is still there. But no knives or anything? No. <laughs> okay. No, no, no knives. Okay. Um, Just saying. It's a tattoo of a knife. <laughs> of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, we're certainly, I mean, if you see him, mm -hmm. please let me know. Oh, absolutely. Or please let any crewman know. We'd very much like to speak with him. So... Did um did the doctor has the doctor released her yet? Is she feeling better? Um, the young woman is still in very bad shape. Uh, we are not our um. Oh, it was, was about it was about here. I was, I was gonna say the, the the joint would be an easier spot. Yeah. Unless you're bare. Well, you know, but a cleaver. Cleavers go through things. The uh, uh, uh um you know we're we're not equipped mm -hmm. uh to handle amputation. Uh, so is that what the room? doctor said? Did he say it was like a an amputation, maybe with a knife, or was it? Oh, I I don't, I don't okay. know. I'm uh, I apologize. Uh, I I don't think um, it, it I I haven't spoken to the doctor to that extent. Mm -hmm. um, I do know that the young woman is not in great shape, and that uh, the doctor is doing everything he can for her. Okay, thank you. Of course, of course. And then right before he leaves, I'm like, has anything? I oh, you pulled the Columbo. Yeah. Oh, uh, just one more yeah, thing. Yeah, just one more thing. <laughs> oh, and by the way. Just, um, <laughs> one more thing. There was a woman at the table next to us the other night at dinner, and she was making a big fuss because something had been stolen from her. Oh, uh, yes, the Duchess was robbed. Was it some? Was it jewelry? What was? Uh, no, the Duchess had a great deal of uh, uh, money. Currency. And she didn't put it in your safe. She uh, no, she did not put it in okay. the. Uh, uh, yes, I've had this discussion with her mm -hmm. with her people. Uh, uh, All of them. Um, <laughs> she had a a, a valise full of mm -hmm. money, and uh, this was stolen. That's curious. Um, her door was essentially kicked open. It was not a very. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it was not a very subtle job, mm -hmm. and um, her how her room was ransacked, and they found. The cash and they took it. Got it. So it wouldn't nothing outstanding. It wasn't, you know, it would be somebody who was rifling and found it. It wouldn't be somebody who was targeting her specifically. That's right. Okay. All That's right. right. Okay. Well. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, they get to your room, hmm. and um, several hours later. Yeah. After yeah. I'm like blah yeah. blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> the first class. The first class uh, uh, searches are very different than the. Uh, oh, of course. Than the the of any the other class. Um, Do I have any hidden rooms in here that? Uh, <laughs> the the head of um, apartments. What are you doing with her bag? Oh, I'm going to hide it in a very pl secure place if it's possible. Okay, make me a stealth roll. Oh, Unless do you have the conceal stuff. skill? Stick it under your you don't skirt. have conceal. No, so. no. Okay, then make me a stealth roll. That's right. I'm right. Clothes things. around her legs. <laughs> oh. oh, put it in the bus. Uh, <laughs> yes, just barely me. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, by five. So don't forget to check it off if you make a skill. I've yes. Made. Thank you for reminding me. I, I forgot to check so. off the listen skill earlier. Yeah, I rolled a twenty-five. Okay. Great. Uh, so. Uh, the, the head of the watch comes in, and he's he's very apologetic again, and uh, they they do a much less thorough search because nobody in first class would Money. commit crimes, uh, and so uh, 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 it's it's fairly perfunctory. They don't get close to where you hid the bag, uh, and um, they take their leave. Should, so, you should have just hidden the girl somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, I would have loved to have done that. Uh, uh, closet so, somewhere. Two dogs under a raincoat kind just, of thing. <laughs> hide under these long coats for a while. Um, one thing you... Make, an, make me an intelligence roll. Intelligence. Oh, yeah. yes. Wow. Um, so, like an extreme success. Extreme. You know... Okay, oh, great. Okay. Yeah, so, 75, 12. Her bag... Is there's the odd thing about it? It's a valise, so it's mm. a blue bag that like clips at the top with two handles. Interesting. Which doesn't mean much to you, but you know if mm -hmm. you ever find that out, 
In fact, you can make. You've seen the bag. Make me an intelligence roll. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's not the bag. Good for climbing. Nope. nope. Nobody. Nope. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, I believe Thomas. Let's. Oh, it's like a, now. It's really like a telethon. Yeah. Show me some numbers. One inspiration from hey. Urban Mask. Urban Warren. Mask. Thank All you, right. Warren. Warren. Yes. Nice. Thank we gotta you. hurry up and spend those again. He wasn't yeah. the first, but you know maybe Hard. he's the yeah. most important. Wait, is he yeah, back exactly. to? He's not quite on the board, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. He's still like you. So, you know, it's, it's so, carries so, so, over. So, so now every member of the Foxy Irregulars has contributed, except Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know we you, had, but we, we love you. We had both Ruckus anyway. and Mayhem earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so that's his that's contribution to my brain. That's <laughs> We need more malarkey. Uh, <laughs> that's, always, his, that's, that's his next that's character. Malarkey is his <laughs> next character. After right that hullabaloo, thing. we're gonna we're gonna for the rest of the session we're gonna come up with names for Aaron's characters. <laughs> Should be fun. Um, okay, so uh, so they call the all clear about uh, six o'clock and um, dinner is served. And uh, lovely, I'm famished. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because lunch was skipped today. Mm. They will bring you lunch to your room if you asked. Um, but they were on a skeleton crew. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, um, when you when you each arrive at the dining room, uh, you've been requested to sit at the captain's table. Mm. Apparently, my uh, story held some weight. <laughs> What story is that? The Great Dane? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone so, knows Captain Gustafson's yeah. the dog lover. <laughs> <laughs> so do we sit down before anyone else? Or yeah, yeah. The captain is the captain oh. will be it will be a little later, but That's so you you guys are sitting there. The captain the captain's table's on a little balcony up a stairway in the main in the grand ballroom, and it's got this beautiful window behind it. It's a it's a really nice. It's a lovely seat. So, I, I, I dressed a little nicer for dinner. There we go. <laughs> um Vecna is not there. Thank God. Uh, okay, I know this is going to sound strange, but given what we've seen, it has been a very, besides the Great Dane it has bear. been a very strange day. Perhaps just out with it. Okay, her. okay, okay. So, uh, uh, in case you didn't know, I am I write uh, nonfiction books about the occult and usually uh, debunking them because it's yes. usually somebody who is, thinks it's true and then it's gone and done something and then I. Solve the mystery. Blah, 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 what's yeah, yeah, the yeah. point? Okay. <laughs> I, I think I would make a fantastic consultant to a police agency. I will just say that. So. Yes, y yes, all right, Mr. Okay. Watson. Go on. Anytime now. Anytime. Uh, so, uh, in medieval uh, Europe uh, lore, there is something that is called uh, the Hand of Glory. It is a, it's, a, it's a spell. And it is a spell that, w that turns you invisible. Um, and uh, allows you to, to uh, bypass any locked doors. So if, if somebody on this ship wanted to get something somewhere, um, they, they would cast this spell and be able to travel anywhere in the ship without being noticed. So that's yeah. interesting if it was true, but, the but it's not. <laughs> the ingredients <laughs> of this spell are two things. Mm -hmm. Bear and dog. The left hand <laughs> of a thief, and uh, fat rendered from the thief's body turned into a so candle. So we're looking for a crazy person who believes in witchcraft. Correct. And took an, and, well, took, uh, and 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 took enough of the arm to have the hand and yeah. render fat from the arm. Mm -hmm. Well, Plus and, and yeah. some extra on her stomach. But you know, it, it's where all my fat is. If yeah. by chance Same there's though. any truth at all in this, the moment I pay for a ticket, she will not have stowed away. <laughs> so uh, this so maybe magic the spell, spell might will... get debunked the moment that the... Pa the well, probably not, the because same. the person who's gone invisible is our waiter. Reginald, or whatever oh. his name is. Oh, I is... knew he oh. was back I was from thinking the moment of throwing him overboard. Him. I didn't say that out loud, too, did I? <laughs> no, you didn't. I was seriously... So here's a question, though. Out loud. You're fine. Yes, okay. All right, so then the question is, you know so much about this spell, is there a way to counter it, if it were uh, true? Pour m cow's milk on the milk. candle. Yes. How common would somebody? Was this spell in English? How we common to find the is this first. spell? Because like it was uh, mostly the Germanic areas, uh, the the you know where Germany is now. And, I think and I've the heard this story a long time ago. It's very area very faint. Um, so. It, so By the way, the Hand of Glory is a real thing. Yes, I know. I've, I, I, I actually am familiar Google with Google Hand of Glory. There's a picture. Nope. It's, yeah, don't uh, Google that. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's terrifying. Don't do it. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, butt holy. That's all right. <laughs> 
Wait, you did not just say but holy. But so wait, I have a, but I have a question. What like could I assess what, what Reginald was English though? He was Yes, he was English. Okay, so he might not be He all I mean, he also didn't seem like the wizard sort. Right. No. But yeah. he may be a pawn. He may be a wizard apprentice. I mean, bishop. he could have just <laughs> ate too much cheesecake and been seriously... missing for a while. Seriously. It happens to all of us. <laughs> no, no, I think that just happens to you. <laughs> um, all right, a my crewman... husband has a weakness for chocolate chip cookies, but you know. ah. the head waiter comes up and says, I'm terribly sorry, but the captain has been um, has been delayed. There's been a robbery Another on one. the boat. No. Um, Others in the Duchess. Did, did, question, question, question. Did this robbery happen without any locks being broken or picked? I, I, I don't know, sir. Um, I'm, I've just been asked to send the captains. Um, then we should go and meet with him immediately. Is this in first class? Well. Y yes, uh, but Well, who would rob second class, really? <laughs> uh, well, they were desperate for something that has to do with that spell. Yeah. Uh, um, but the captain asked that, you know, you continue on with your dinner and that he would send for you uh, afterwards. Then let's abide by what the captain mm -hmm. has requested. We have strained the bonds of hospitality. I think I'm going to go to the things. powder room. Rose. We'll be right back. <laughs> Dr. Aldridge gets up and uh, totters I, off to the... That uh, can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So you step outside. I actually <clears throat> head to the powder room. Okay. She goes to the <laughs> all right. Back so along the way, I start looking and to see if I can see any waiters or anybody. Who do I see on the way to the... Right. Um, you see, plunk, there's lots of waiters. They're working very <laughs> efficiently. You do not see Reginald. Of course. Interesting. Not least because we would hurl him overboard if we mm -hmm. found him. Probably. <laughs> um, and then make I... me a listen roll. Ooh. Hachi, oh. machi, that's a zero one. Yes. Okay. That is um, a critical mm -hmm. success. So. Elfie ears. You hear. <laughs> I lost one of your elf ears here. So <laughs> Couldn't you, help it. Um, <laughs> you step out onto, uh, 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 you're taking the long way to the uh, powder To the room, lavatory. And um, you step out of, the, uh, of the, the dining room, and you hear, um, very faintly, you hear whistling, just like a, a, a tune. Hmm. Familiar tune. But there's nobody around. I flower. Try to go to the Ant. direction I hear it. Okay. Hmm. Um, and quicken the pace. Okay. Uh, <coughs> when you do that, the whistling stops. I stop the moment I hear it stop. Okay. And I pivot, a quarter turn, and wait. You don't hear anything else. Just hmm. okay. Somebody's invisible. You made an 01. So when you stop and you do that pivot, this has nothing to do with the listen, but you rolled an 01. So <laughs> I gotta give something. Yeah. Um, you smell. Um, you smell. You smell like a match has been struck. That's that smell. Oh, that sulfur that, smell. That sulfur oh, smell. Yeah. yeah. I take out my compact. Okay. And I make uh, like powder poofing, like I'm going to powder my face, and right. I start to go like this. Okay. And, powder around quickly. Uh, you nothing, you don't reveal anything that way. And I look at the ground, see if there's any footprints. You don't see any footprints. Huh. I wonder if the ship's library has any occult books. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta look up a hand of glory, yeah. can you help us out? <laughs> Depends on how good the library is. Yeah, I don't, uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing not. I decide instead of going to the laboratory to go find um, like somebody who has a crew manifest to find out where Reginald's place would be because I want to drop off a present. Uh, okay, so they're gonna put you in touch with the head of the, the head of the watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit. That's fine. All right, so we're gonna come back to the dining room table. So do we see? Um... What's her name? Is it the Duchess? The the Duchess is yeah. down. Yeah, so you're okay, up on so a, like a little balcony, yeah. and she's at her normal table. Okay. All right. So um, 
I'm just going to wait for an opportune moment if she's alone or if there's a seat and then sit next to her. Sure. Or yeah, if she yeah. leaves to go to the power yeah, room at some or point, whatever. At some yeah. point, like her, her uh, mm-hmm. one of her uh, okay. accompaniments get up and you can go and okay. sit next to the Duchess. Uh, yes, can I help oh, you? forgive me, forgive me. Um, I really would like to know. There have been obviously some strange things happening on this ship. And f- I would like to find out some... I heard there was a great Dane! As did I, and they are magnificent creatures. <laughs> I, heard, I would love to fair. see one. <laughs> um, but if you don't mind, I might ask you a question about a little more delicate matter. And uh, well, of course, bit. of course. Um, the, uh, the captain had told me that so, um, money was taken from you. Well, I... What? And it, sh- 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 it, it was just in strictest confidence, I assure you. I have not told anyone. Don't make me roll for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've um, seen how you roll. Yeah. We don't have that much inspiration. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have that kind of time today. Uh, what, why? What? Just, there, there have been, we've had, we, someone, someone I know has been assaulted, and I'm just wondering, I'm very concerned. What? I'm very concerned. Um, Do we hear this from upstairs? <laughs> the, yeah, you hear the, what? Yeah, yeah, you hear a very imperious <laughs> what? What? And you see Emma is like, <laughs> to the Duchess. What? Ah, Emma, Emma at work. Yep. <laughs> Foot, mouth, here we go. Um, anyway, so what was I? Oh, Assaulted? Yeah. Yes. I, I'm going to come down. Bertram. Oh, God. Bertram. Um, Bertram. Do Someone you... has been assaulted on this <laughs> ship. And he's like, it's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, ah. <laughs> Um, That's my camera. What do you want? I'm <laughs> cleaning I'm it off. I'm just curious if um, they'd found the suspect who had okay. stolen any of any of your money. Yeah. Is there? Um, do you have any idea who may have done this? The captain assures me they will find this interloper. <laughs> uh, so I come down and say, oh, oh, hello, hello, Miss <laughs> Emma. I love this Emma. Oh, I Duchess, see may I introduce you to Jackson, what's your name again? Uh, Jackson, Elias. Jackson Elias. Elias. Uh, Charmed, writer, I'm sure. And yes. Great Dane aficionado as well. Great Dane aficionado, <laughs> one of the world's finest private investigators. Oh, God. <laughs> How vulgar. <laughs> oh. But we still like him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'll solve crimes first. and get people their money back. That's all I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk away. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Did who you... are you people? <laughs> That's a solid question. The Great Dane Club. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> and there's our party name. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm trying to ask her a question. Um, anyway, do you, um, how many people knew that you were carrying a large sum of money on you? Well, the not m- not many. I I didn't advertise it. But obviously, Bertrand would have known. And but anybody my else beloved known? Bertram would never steal from me. But Bertram's who else like would a have twenty-five-year-old guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's stealing from her in other ways. <laughs> you um, know, or, or, or you know, she stole for, she stole him. Uh, yeah, yeah well, she's stealing his yeah. soul. Would there? Well, yeah, Slowly, his but... soul was probably gone a long time ago. <laughs> Um, the would there be anyone else who may know what you were carrying with you? Well, I mean, the, uh, I did have room service delivered. Mm-hmm. Ah, was um? Do you know who your waiter was? Was it a personal attendant or was it? <laughs> I am not in the habit of knowing the names of the That's people who thought. bring me food. <laughs> you do realize that. Uh, what are you coming case, back? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I came back just just, just for that. Just like, do you realize? <laughs> Knowing, knowing and those so who attend I, you is very important for solving m- murders. I mean, cr- I mean crimes. I can't give her the description of Reginald. That's his name, right? Yes. Okay. Reggie. That's what we're calling oh, Reggie. Yes. I, you know. We knew him well. A a ser- all all I mean, servants we know rather look alike to me. At this point, I'm just like turned yeah. around and watching. <laughs> yeah, this comedy show. Um, great. Bertram, see, Bertram <laughs> indicates that that, sound, that sounds like what okay. the guy looked like. Okay. All right. Well, Duchess, again... Thank you very much for your time. I and you were again. Uh, Emma. Emma DeVaro, pleased to meet you. And Ms. DeVaro, yeah. thank you. Thank you. It is a pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. Please, I beg you, keep the details of my... Uh, Strictly confidential. I so details appreciate Details of what, that. ma'am? I details so appreciate of what? that. Okay. And then I backpedal back out of that situation again. <laughs> Are, are, are you coming back upstairs? <laughs> yeah, backpedal straight to, back into him. You must tell Constance never to leave her chair again. 
<laughs> so I go back to the table and update these two. And Dinner and a show. <laughs> I, do, I do what I can. I do what I can. Dinner and a show. We'll be having a contest for yeah. quote of the night. I don't know. I think the Great Dames might be pretty Yeah, good. Great Dames, right? Fair. Great Dames. Great Dames yeah. I'm still yeah. voting for, I thought it was you, Standish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Uh, so they, and again, there's no proof, but um, Bertram mm -hmm. um, thinks that it could have been Reginald that brought dinner, so he may have, you know, or her lunch or whatever it was, so he may have cased the place. He may have seen the money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All, all of the money that she carried on her. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. And she doesn't seem to be a woman, and I lower my voice. So. She doesn't seem to be a woman? <laughs> Bertram! <laughs> Bertram's like, I sh Bertram shudders. <laughs> No, she doesn't seem to be a woman. That kind of game. Yeah, she's a poor boy. Yeah. No. <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't seem to be a woman who, like, I don't know, can keep her voice down. Mm. So it's not, <laughs> even though she claims that no one knows of her, you know, of her money or her predicament or whatever, whatever she may be carrying, I'm sure she's made it publicly announced to put my bag full of money over in the corner. Bertram, <laughs> make sure no one knows of my bag of money. <laughs> Don't think of that. That reminds me of something, and I can't think of what it reminds me of. It's terrible. Wow. That's a Santa you roll. Um, <laughs> she's kicking anyone? All right, so dinner is done, uh, and um, the captain, uh, uh, a, um, a purser comes up as dinner is winding up and, and brings you all to the captain's, uh, the captain's office. Uh, it's a, a, a small but nicely appointed office. Um, captain Gustafson is... Uh, Standing is is uh, sitting at his desk, uh, and he's got a a crew manifest and a passenger manifest uh, sitting on his desk, and he's pouring over them when you come in. He says, "Oh, um, thank you for coming. Uh, we had uh, we had another robbery. Uh, it was another robbery. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, we're curious. Yes, we had the no um, a, a first class cabin of um, had uh, um, several diamonds." Diamond necklaces and such uh, uh, robbed from them, uh, but there was no sign of any sort of forced entry. It was uh, very different than the last time. Well, I assume the head investigator told you uh, what I told him. Uh, no. So he was talking about the lead we potentially have, um, the Duchess. This is what's this lead? Well, the Duchess claims that she had told no one of um, of the amount of cash that she had on her, um, but she did that day have someone bring her lunch, and the description somewhat vaguely resembles Reginald. Is there any way that we could cross reference? That waiter. Yeah. Is there any way we could cross reference who actually sent who took her lunch? Uh, yes, we can find that out. And um, was there any occurrence of um, hmm. meals being brought by the same individual to this room? Hmm. Well, that's uh, um, so. Our our room service attendants do not have pass keys. Mm -hmm. Only the the head of the watch and uh, each deck attendant has pass keys. Mm -hmm. um, and are all of those accounted for? Yes, all the pass keys are accounted for. Uh, the the only thing that is not accounted for is Reginald himself, who we cannot find. Even after that very thorough search. No, he is he's nowhere to be found on the boat. Uh, Curious. It, it is very curious. It's it's surprisingly, despite the size of the boat, it's surprisingly hard to hide uh, because there are so many people on mm. the boat. Um, mm. and we'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll the, find him. Yes, there there must be an exclu ex explanation. Ex yes. Yes, he's, yes. An explanation. Well, I mean, <laughs> yes. it's possible that he uh, that he jumped overboard. Uh, it's possible that it was a suicide, or that, uh, or that it was not a suicide, but he mm -hmm. jumped overboard. Or uh, it's possible that he's hiding. You know, we've we were ser we searched the storage holds. Uh, are are any of the lifeboats missing? No, no. Can uh, hey, I, know, I promise? I promise not to touch one. <laughs> I, I know all this I know. is 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 an odd request. Can can the 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 room the door that was. Broken into without the breaking room? in. No, the one that without breaking into. Okay. Yes. Um, can I uh, examine that lock to see if maybe it was? Of course. It was picked. Of course. It's um. It was state room twenty seven. Okay. Um, I just can go there. Can we go there? Of course. Okay. Yeah, you can. I mean, um, you, I'm going to. Um, he gives you. Um, he he writes you a little pass, mm -hmm. and this pass will get you to his office. 
uh, whenever you need to. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And whose room was this? I'll pass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stage room 27 belonged to a diplomat mm -hmm. uh, who was heading to uh, America from England. Uh, his wife's jewelry was stolen. Okay. In which country was he a diplomat for? England. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Or is he? I am going to also, um, I'm going to set guards on every deck. Uh, and I have authorized the guards to be armed. Mm. If if you happen to smell a candle burning or hear something without seeing anyone, um, there may be someone there. Maybe, but I doubt it. I think we can find this out and solve this mystery together. <clears throat> He's working on an opening for a new book. Yes. <laughs> there was a lot of sentences yep. there, but not quite a paragraph. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of sense. It depends on the paragraph, I think. Well, all right. Uh, I'm not a philosophical man. Uh, but please, uh, whatever help you can give me, I will appreciate. Um, and I've, uh, you know, with that, with that pass, the crew will give you whatever assistance they can. Uh, um, and uh, help me figure out what's going on here, because uh, this... This is terrible. My, my ship is being robbed, mm -hmm. and someone on my ship has been assaulted, and none of this can stand. If it is this Reginald character, we have to find him and make sure that he goes to justice. Uh, if it's not, we need to find out who's doing this and make sure that they are brought to justice. We will do everything in our power to assist. I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so you head to Stateroom 27. Um, the uh, uh, the diplomat and his wife have been they're they're uh, they've been they've been uh, sent to the bar to uh, to ex there's a crewman standing in front of the door mm -hmm. but once you show him the pass he's he said uh, uh, how can I help uh, I, uh, quick question uh, have yes. I have I uh, re yeah yeah you rejoined you, you were okay. back with the captain okay. yeah okay. I'm sorry all right I wasn't sure about and that. where is this in con in like relationship to the duchess's orders. Um, oh, so all the staterooms are kind of up at the front, mm -hmm. and they all have the, the, the nice view, uh, uh, or at the back. And so the Duchess's was at the back, this is at the front. Okay, so it's not even no. close. All right. I think we should grab some milk, because I'm pretty sure it's working, just to let you know. That, that, In fact, I'm positive it, of it. it. We need to get some milk. I, uh, why, why are you so positive? Because... <clears throat> Um, I think we just need to search the ship. I'm I mean, just positive. There, uh, there was a smell in the air, and I could hear him whistling, and yet there was no one there. No one was around. And he wasn't hiding? Where was this? I mean, I mean, he go? was, like, right there. Wait. But wait, there's, I couldn't see wait. it. You may are, have heard echoes you? from yeah. the deck. I, no, I that. swear to you. I. All right. I mean, people just I, don't vanish. Which is why it wouldn't the milk hurt man to have over crazy. a wait, cup of milk minute. just to make sure. If this is true. Which it isn't. But if it is, I could sell and way more books. <laughs> yes. I exactly. thought your job was debunking I'm getting some milk. Things. Right, and that and is then not making working. Money. <laughs> so, well, to be fair. maybe, yeah. or if we say uh, experts agree, <laughs> or... Many have said. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, you know. Can I, I be think quoted? it would be great for us to all yes. have this man is crazy. Milk with us. Ancient occult think? theorists <laughs> speculate. I mean, it you're... can't hurt. It has been an exceedingly odd day. Okay, so you're so right. You're so at, we need milk. You're, you're we at need state flour. Room 27. We don't um, need milk. We don't need flour. We need to go Why in. Why would we need flour? I don't know because that's how you trap. You throw. Throw. Are you throw everywhere. Are you throw the best way to. Find something out is by using reasonable number, right? deduction. And you we should rule out see all possibilities. That woman? The next time we encounter <laughs> the smell flower. of his, I will carry flower. You could tell it was him. You could tell it was a man standing around. He was musky. There was a smell of sulfur, like he had just lit a match or something like that. Uh, you could hear this whistling. You know, I'm just saying if we could rule out the possibility that maybe the candle worked by having the milk around when we are encountering that again, we'll at least be able to cross that off our list. Um, can, in, my, in my research, mm -hmm. can, the, can the candle be put out Only by, by yourself? Milk. But Only if you put oh, it yeah. out with milk, can, you can relight it? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's very powerful. Okay. Can we search this room? Yeah. Yes, no, uh, maybe. You guys <laughs> go in and then and then shut the door behind you and lock it. Okay. All right. Just, All right. Yeah. You, are, you are locked in. <clears throat> Thank okay. God. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's I'm going to try and pick the lock. All right. Uh, that is a, uh, what is it, locksmith. While he's doing that, I'm going to look around because yeah. I can't wait seven hours first for you exam happen. First exa you examine the lock <laughs> before you destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does not, the lock has not been tampered with. And there's okay. no there's no sign of any damage. So like the the other one, the door was like battered open basically. This door, none of that. It is no not been touched at all. Mm -hmm. And um, and inside you guys see a uh, uh, several jewelry boxes that are just open. But and they clearly could be locked. Yep. And the jewelry boxes are on just in plain sight. She didn't have. Yeah, the they were on the they were on the on the dresser okay. basically. Okay, I'm gonna go over and have a look at them without sure. not touching them. Yeah. But <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so yeah, the thing, you notice the same thing that they could have been locked, but they mm -hmm. weren't, um, or they're they're open now. They're no longer mm -hmm. locked. Yeah, and and um, uh, and it's a jewelry. You have a make me an appraise roll. Oh, Lord. Actually, you can. Uh, I don't you have guys appraise, can all yeah. anybody who wants to can make an appraise roll. And the yeah, locks are and the sure. locks are jewelry box locks. It's not yeah, like no. it's yeah. some no. sort of safe. So um, I don't have anything special. All to right. Praise. So so the only thing that I'll give you is that. Um, this didn't seem like a, you know, there's some stuff that looks valuable that was left. Mm. This looks like it was kind of a grab. Just like diamonds, shiny, you know. Mm. This was not somebody who knew what they were mm -hmm. what, what they, they were, were after. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try and pick it. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> you hear there... some scritching. We exactly. have, you know, we have a stack, I need, I need you know? an 01. <laughs> We don't have that much Yeah, we don't have that kind of time. Um, is there anything else that seems amiss in the room? Like, I look in the closet, just, like, he didn't wear clothes, nothing Make weird. me a power <laughs> roll. Ooh. No. All right. I hate you dice. It's, it's, See? It's, it's, let's, let's use, use some inspiration. Use some inspiration. How about, can I use two inspiration yes. if somebody else roll this for me? No. <laughs> All right. You got this. <laughs> Roll I'm gonna low. try totally Roll new dice. Oh, Roll totally low. new dice. Roll low. Can somebody mail Amy dice? One of our viewers. Better. Son of a biscuit. Still Better. It. It's not All right. right. Not. Um, you get a faint whiff of like sulfur, just like the faintest like old whiff mm -hmm. as you're like searching around the room. And it's where? Okay, Close I'm, to the door. Okay. Mm. Can I? All right. So I'm like. <laughs> yeah, it's gone though. It's, yeah. It's it's like a vestige of a scent. Okay. And I open the door on you while you're trying to pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just smelled some sulfur. Wait, who's? I had a lot of cheese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, did you fart on the other side of this door and slam it again? <laughs> um, the dark view into Amy mm -hmm. and Thomas's life. I, I I go into the room and yeah. say, shouldn't we look in Reginald's room? Because we're yeah. looking for Reginald. Yeah, this is true. But I also want to go see where. You think you smelt him? No. <laughs> so exactly. I you fill in the rest of that one? If you just smelled that sulfury smell, I think he just saw us. It could have been through. him. I mean, been, but I doubt it's it. Cheesecake or, boy. It, or, or he was yeah. here. Yeah, I think That's it feels more like it's an older vestige, oh, okay. like the remnant of. Hmm. So he was here. Or somewhere. Or whoever. I mean, I'm just using the word Reginald, the name Reginald. Mostly because it's a terrible name. Yeah, I know. Well, it's too bad we don't have <laughs> one of those great names. We apologize we to our viewers out. named Reginald. Yes. <laughs> I wonder, there, there must be a dog on there the There must be a dog on a <laughs> place <laughs> this big. Please don't say things while I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Snarf. Snarf. Dogs on boats are just so sad. I know. I know. <laughs> they look all sad. Uh, anyway, okay, so... Only run so far. All right. Well, anything else you can think of? It's getting there? on in the evening. Mm -hmm. You know, it's post dinner. It's you know, mm -hmm. eight thirty nine. Does I mm, should we go look and see where you smelt the sulfur? Um, because I still think that there might be a space where he was hiding or. Well, where do you think he would go next? Maybe yes. that's what we should be thinking about. Any of the state rooms. I mean, he's first he's of all, he's got to stealing. Sleep. He's got to sleep. He's got to eat. Mm hmm. And, and candles only gonna last so long. Well, and he doesn't seem to be—he doesn't seem to be planning what he's doing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the Duchess's money was an easy snatch and grab and go. Mm -hmm. But there were other valuable pieces of jewelry here, and he didn't grab those. He only grabbed these pieces here. Mm -hmm. 
two thieves, perhaps? Mm. We only have, we only have one crew member unaccounted for. How many days are this, is well, this trip? You're, you, uh, it's like five days? It's five days, so after tonight, there's two more days. Okay. We should look at the crew manifest, see the most valuable clients, I'm sure our room will be, room will yeah, be a s- <laughs> hit possibly. It would be everybody who's up here. Exactly. So, so, part of, part of me so you for... could certainly ask the captain to get, like, you know, who has the most money up here, sort of mm-hmm. who are the richest people. Pardon me for asking such a crass question, but do you have valuables that would draw this sort of attention? Sting operation. <laughs> I do. It, Your husband does oh not boy. like this idea at all. <laughs> He's not going to prove. It, it, it may be worthwhile in order to reduce the number of people who may be exposed to this problem because a, desp- could, a, a thief backed into a corner may become dangerous. I could wear something lavish and expensive. And, and talk about how it's not locked and, and that your door lock doesn't work or whatever. Here's the, the There's game. going to be dinner tonight later this evening. We already had dinner. Uh, d- uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. You already had, yeah, it's, it's okay. post dinner. I just wonder if, 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 if other people, I mean, Reginald has been following us, mm-hmm. right? right? Since Why? sort of the Why beginning. Why is he particularly interested in us? But, but, I mean, he may be here right now and listening to us planning his sting. Now we'd smell him. <laughs> he can't hide that smell. I just. <laughs> No, she's, are you she's, signaling she's, another boat? What's happening there? Just, just. <laughs> but you are correct. Karate moves. <laughs> out, like Elvis he's karate moves. He's looking for Reginald. The semaphore moves. <laughs> just, just, you know, I. You don't know. You need to blindfold yourself so that you take. <laughs> oh, so I, so I enhance. Yeah, the, yeah, enhance your the other, other senses. senses. Here, that here. is a good idea. I wish there was a headband here. <laughs> So I could do that. They should have left them behind. Yeah. Aromatherapy, <laughs> debunk that. No, All right. Well, here, here is here is the thing. People tend to. What is the word? Be, every, everyone has, has their own unique smell. And if she smelled a particularly musky smell, stop it. <laughs> With the sulfur. With the sulfur. The sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> I take the napkin and just do it. It's enhancing all of our yes. experience. I don't know about <laughs> yours. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't put any magical properties in the bag when I made it. I promise you that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do we want to go and search Reginald's quarters? Yes. Then let's go do all that. All right. Before so you, you get later. down to Reginald's quarters. They're very small. Um, it's pretty much room for a bed and to kind of turn around. Uh, uh, there's a small desk with his stuff on it. Um, everybody can make me spot hidden rolls. Uh, yep. Oh, yes. It always takes me to read percentile dice. I do, yep, I do a yeah. hard success. Hard, 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 okay. hard success as well. So, um, so you find a picture uh, of uh, from a trench in World War I mm-hmm. with Reginald yep. and a bunch of other guys yep. in it. Uh, oh. That is that is sort of it was under a bunch of papers, mm-hmm. um, and it it's you know the markings match whatever the the, the unit, the unit that he was in. Was, yeah. yeah, so so. And do any of the other gentlemen look familiar? Like, have we seen any of these guys? On You've the not seen them, no. Okay. But but if you do, you'll recognize okay. them with this picture. And you find uh, with a hard success, um, tucked away like up in the closet in the top, are discharge papers from prison for a Reginald Stamfield mm-hmm. for a burglary. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and it appears that after World War I, he was at odds. PTSD. And didn't have, you know, didn't come, it didn't have the, the best re-entry into society. Mm-hmm. And so he would do, he was a smash and grab artist. He would break into houses, steal whatever he could and sell it. Um, he was he was caught fairly easily because he just kicks in doors. I take the papers and I turn to you and I say, uh-huh. I really do think we're dealing with two thieves here. Take a look at this. And I plonk it down. Okay. And you find uh, an old book. Excellent. Read it. Yeah. I'm going to start paging through it. Well, I'm so looking specifically it opens, for... It's like, it's, so here's the thing. It opens and like um, it opens right to... A, a the recipe for a hand of glory. Oh, uh, of course it does. It's uh, uh, it, it's 
there's other stuff in here, but it doesn't look like Reginald was smart enough to figure any of the rest of it out. Ooh. I, I, okay. I, I definitely think. What do you have there, Jack? Nothing ever my, goes wrong. The ticket to my success is what I have here. <laughs> May I see? Copyright yes. someone else's book? <laughs> <laughs> researching others. Okay. Uh, with, so can, yes. can I just, just like popularizing sure, yeah. what other sorts of things are in yeah. there? Yeah, there are um, at a uh, um, sort of at a cursory glance, it it's mostly gobbledygook about um, uh, about um, the you know the various dark it's you know ye old dark arts and that sort of thing. The name of the book is, is ye old dark arts. Yo, the dark arts. Yeah. No, no. Actually, the name of the book. Oh, come is, on. <laughs> I'm looking it up. This is the actual name of the book. Um, it is in a book called. Drum roll. Oh, it's a book called Petit Albert. Uh, Petit Albert. The, the petit Albert. The, 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 the small, the small Albert. <laughs> the, the small Albert. Yes, the small Albert. Albert. Yeah, Albert. The small Albert. Yes, the small Albert. Okay. Soldiers a bear on both. Je parle français. Oui. Um, <laughs> un peu. Uh, that probably means <clears throat> that there was at some point a Grand Albert that was a book, a much larger book, and this was a smaller version of. Sure. It. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the Apprentice book. <laughs> yep. So, this is Padawan book. There you go. Uh, Just you didn't see any any, any it, instruments that might it, be used to cut off an arm or anything. That's a good question. Yeah. Do I? See? You did not see anything. Um, is the milk in there too? You got a hard success. You got yep. a hard success. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but what you do find is crumpled in the back of his closet is one of his, is the street clothes he was wearing that night, and mm-hmm. they definitely are blood soaked. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Well, maybe right. we should take these. Yes, to the captain. To the captain. Immediately. Absolutely. How did the captain miss this? Curious. Did well, they not search was, his room? They they did search his room, mm-hmm. but these were, you know, the blood stains are not super, super obvious. obvious. You had to like pull everything okay. out and look at all the clothes. Um so you're going to head to the captain? Yeah. Can I knock on the door for somebody just a next door neighbor? Sure. If somebody seems yeah. to be home. Uh, a a guy opens the door and says, uh, "Can I help you?" I had a quick question. We haven't seen Reginald in a while. I was just yeah, curious. Yeah, nobody has. Okay, when was the last time you saw him? Uh, 2 days ago? Okay. I think maybe day and a half. Okay. And the, you have the I mean the captain's the captain's let all the crew know that we're looking for him. Okay. They put out uh, uh, an all hands notice. And since then you didn't hear anything in his room either. Just because no. you didn't see him. No. Okay. Anything in that book say that the duration on that candle if it just continuously runs? You'd need to read the book. Yeah. Um to great idea. You know. Yeah, great idea. This character will read the book. Yeah, <laughs> reading any book. And that'll do it for Jackson yeah. Elias. <laughs> reading any book in Cthulhu is dangerous. Yep. <laughs> um, so it's it's now probably ten thirty. Ugh. I think straight to the captain with this. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the captain. The uh, the captain has gone to bed. So yeah. the head of the watch has the, is in the captain's office. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yeah, can I help you? Oh, what have you got? Uh, let's start with uh, the the clothes. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Bloody so clothes. we pass those over. Ah, again. well. Mm-hmm. So we. So uh, Reginald. Yes. We were looking the in girl? Reginald's office, or his quarters, and this is what mm-hmm. we found. And we found this. And I popped the book down <laughs> in front of him. Hold on. So you already <laughs> told this guy about the Hand of Glory story. Yeah. Um. Wow. That. Um, that's a book. Does anybody have any medicine? <laughs> if, 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 if nothing else, it does seem to indicate that, that Reginald believed this story. Whether or not it's a true story, mm-hmm. unlikely in the, in, in, in the age of reason. But it seems likely that he believed it himself. It's mm. a fair point. And if mm. he believed the girl to be a stowaway, taking her hand would answer answer mm-hmm. the condition of the, the left hand of a criminal. You know, it's a fair point. I, I, <clears throat> I, he's, I mean, if he's crazy and he thinks it's true... Mm-hmm. You know, we. But this just underscores we've got to find Reginald. Yes. Uh, we have all the crew looking for him. It's uh, odd that he can hide on this boat. Well, according to the book, we need milk. Just a side milk? question: Does um, and you may want to roll this. Um, does the amount of blood on his clothes match what we what the bloodshed that we kind of you know what I mean? 
Oh like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's still, I mean, there's there's like a. You're gonna cut somebody's arm off. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of. Yeah, that's that. what I'm saying. It's like our, so what, what you spray. see, is, it looks like. Um, make me a medicine roll. There we go. Thank you. E. No. Okay. So nobody knows. The the it. It seems like maybe he wrapped his jacket around her arm because mm-hmm. her his jacket seems to have most of the blood on it. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. He used it as a. Got it. Okay. Because so, you said a little blood, and I was like, well, there'd be a lot of blood. Not so like his shirt and stuff has not much on okay. it. Okay. If he's just on the jacket. tourniquet, then maybe not as much. Yeah. Okay. But why would he be tourniqueted? Uh, he tourniqueted. He was trying they, to they tourniquet part of the to arm, so it didn't yeah. shoot out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he was trying to be. So you guys. Are, me. Probably gonna head to bed. It's like mm-hmm. eleven. Yeah. And he was a burglar. And, right. <laughs> and oh yeah, here's all this. Oh yeah, and he yeah. went to prison. Yeah. He went to oh, yeah. prison. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a tattoo. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Told you here now. He has, uh, he has hand art. Any kind of person with hand art. Well, we I apologize mean, apologize to all of our yeah. viewers. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. So yeah, yeah, you've you've uh, you know they crack this case wide open. They really want to find Reginald. Yep. Uh, Does he? Did he have any? I have one more question. Did he have any like? Did he associate with any of the other crew? Like, was he kind of he friends? He knew the wait staff. He was okay. you know he knew he had some friends there, but I mean you know he he kept to himself a lot. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to bed. Mm-hmm. I'm. A little... All right. I'm gonna go get some milk. Yes. I'm gonna go also right. get some milk and right. some flour. Yeah, I'll join you. Why not? I have to get a little glass bottle of milk. Okay. So, you all get you get uh, little glass bottles and of milk. And they get some cookies too. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Those you cover and, you and, 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 and we make absolutely sure that it's cow's milk. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. they don't have goat's milk on the boat. You know so what? They were very specific. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. So you each go to you go back to your bed and everything seems fine. Uh, you go back to your room. And when you come in, your husband is dead, as- dead asleep. He's, you know, he knocked out. Pinned to him is a note. Who? And the note says, anytime I want. And that's going to do it. Wow. For Quests and Chaos plays Call of Cthulhu, our first episode. Excellent. Ooh. We're going to fight Reginald. We will be back <laughs> next Wednesday. Same. Now it's same, personal. Same Quests time, and same Nachos time, yeah. time. Same <laughs> Quests yeah, and Nachos, nachos. channel. Nachos. Uh, and uh, nachos. thanks so much. I had a great time doing this. This was a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you check out our other shows. Uh, Monday is water deep. No, Mon- natural Mon- one. Monday's natural Monday's one. Natural one. You know, Tuesday is Tuesday's chaos agents. Yeah. I watch them on YouTube. <laughs> which uh, is another place. Which where is you, you can, can go to YouTube yeah. and you can find all our shows there. Uh, you can uh, watch them at your own pace and leisure. I'm given to understand their podcasts. I don't really understand how that works. Smarter people than me. Can... It's on. It's on Stitcher and iTunes and anywhere else. Google, Google Audio Play Store. Thank you. Look at that. You can find us almost, you can find us so many places. It's just actually not in our tiresome. Homes. Yeah, uh, just not at home. Uh, so thanks so much uh, uh, for being a part of this. We will see you next week. Do we need any, uh, anything to uh, close We are so close to the number of followers we need to give away a mug oh. and the number of subscribers to give away a mug. So for sure. On Monday, we're going to give one away. Maybe we'll save one yeah. for Tuesday a- or yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, give one away Wednesday. Yeah. Come on. We'll yeah. give, we'll give one away on Wednesday. That, that is one of the hard things about being the last that's show good. of the week. True. Uh, uh, that's exciting. I, All right. I, I enjoy those mugs. They're, they're great. They're, they mm-hmm. really hold water. They're sturdy. <laughs> uh, you could put cow's milk Stylish. in them. Stylish. <laughs> yeah. You could even put Noir. a little squirty top on them. A little squirty <laughs> top, yes. Uh, we'll yeah. because I, have, I have one at home. I love it. It's one of my favorites. There we go. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.